This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Laurie Ann Walden. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 8. 26 Ways to Cook Bluefish. Baked Bluefish à l'Italienne. Score and scale the bluefish and put it into a buttered pan with three tablespoonfuls each of white wine and mushroom liquor, a tablespoonful of chopped onion, half a dozen chopped mushrooms, and salt and pepper to season. Cover with buttered paper and bake for fifteen minutes. Take out the fish and add to the sauce half a teaspoonful of beef extract dissolved in half a cupful of boiling water. Add a wine glassful of white wine and thicken with one tablespoonful each of butter and browned flour. Pour the sauce over the fish, sprinkle with chopped parsley, and serve. Baked Blue Fish 1. Clean, scrape, and split the fish and take out the backbone. Gash the flesh and insert a thin slice of salt pork under the skin. Make a stuffing of one cupful of bread crumbs two tablespoonfuls of chopped salt pork, and salt, minced parsley, chopped onion, red pepper, kitchen bouquet, and tomato ketchup to season. Add one egg well beaten. Fill the fish and sew up. Lay on thin slices of salt pork and bake, basting frequently with the fat. Garnish with cress and lemon. Baked Bluefish 2 Clean a large bluefish, put into a baking pan, pour over it a cupful of boiling salted water, cover and bake for an hour, basting frequently. Put on a serving platter and thicken the sauce with browned flour, seasoning with salt, pepper, Worcestershire, and tomato ketchup. Serve with a garnish of sliced lemon. Baked Bluefish 3 Make a stuffing of bread crumbs, two tablespoonfuls of minced onion, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, three tablespoonfuls of butter, one egg well beaten, and salt and pepper to season. Stuff the fish and tie securely. Bake in a pan with a cupful of hot water and a tablespoonful of butter, basting frequently. Take out the fish, boil up the sauce, add a tablespoonful of ketchup, a tablespoonful of browned flour wet with four tablespoonfuls of cold water, and the juice of a lemon. Cook until thick and strain. Baked Bluefish 4 Prepare a stuffing of crumbs, grated onion, beaten egg, and capers. Stuff a large bluefish and sew up. Season with salt and pepper, rub with butter, and add sufficient boiling water. Bake Baste frequently and serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Bluefish 5 Make a stuffing of one cupful of bread crumbs, a tablespoonful of melted butter, and salt and pepper to season. Fill the fish and sew firmly. Gash the fish and lay strips of pork in the gashes. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and add sufficient boiling water to keep from burning. Bake for an hour, basting frequently. Garnish with parsley and lemon and serve with tomato sauce. Baked Bluefish 6 Slit a large bluefish, take out the bone, put in a buttered baking dish, and season with salt and pepper. Fry a chopped onion in butter, add half a dozen chopped mushrooms, three tablespoonfuls of chopped cooked eggplant, and a teaspoonful of minced parsley. Add two cupfuls of stock and cook for 15 minutes. Thicken with a tablespoonful or more of flour rubbed smooth in cold water and pour over the fish. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake for an hour in a moderate oven. Baked Bluefish with White Wine Sauce Put a cleaned bluefish into a buttered pan with salt, pepper, minced parsley, sweet herbs, a sliced onion, two cupfuls of white wine, and one cupful of white stock. Cover with a buttered paper and cook for 40 minutes, basting as required. Take out the fish, strain the sauce, and thicken with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter. Boil for 10 minutes, add 3 tablespoonfuls of butter, the juice of half a lemon, and 3 egg yolks well beaten. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Baked Bluefish a la Naples Prepare the fish according to directions given for baked bluefish, too. 
Fry in butter for five minutes two tablespoonfuls each of chopped onion, carrot, and lean raw ham. Add twelve peppercorns, two cloves, and a sprig of marjoram. Add two and one-half tablespoonfuls of flour and cook until brown. Add gradually one cupful of brown stock and one and one-fourth cupfuls of white wine. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Strain, reheat, pour over the fish, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Boiled Bluefish Prepare according to directions given for boiled bass. Broiled Bluefish 1 Split the fish down the back and soak for half an hour in brine. Rinse in fresh water, dry on a towel, and broil on a buttered broiler. Serve on a hot platter with melted butter poured over, and garnish with watercress and sliced lemon. Broiled Bluefish 2 Clean and split down the back, season with salt and pepper, and broil according to directions previously given. Sprinkle with minced parsley and lemon juice, and pour over a little melted butter. Serve with a border of mashed potatoes. Pan-broiled bluefish. Lay the fish flesh side down in a well-greased, very hot pan. Turn with a pancake turner. Broiled bluefish au bournois. Broil a bluefish according to directions previously given. Mix together one tablespoonful each of vinegar and minced parsley, one teaspoonful of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to season. Put two tablespoonfuls of butter into a frying pan, and when it browns, add the other ingredients. Bring to the boil and pour it over the broiled fish. Broiled bluefish with mustard sauce. Broil a bluefish according to directions previously given, and sprinkle with lemon juice. Pour over a cream sauce to which prepared mustard has been added. Matelote of bluefish. Prepare according to directions given for matelote of blackfish, using white wine instead of claret. Stuffed Bluefish 1 Prepare according to directions given for stuffed sea bass. Stuffed Bluefish 2 Scrape, clean, and dry a large bluefish. Chop three onions fine and fry in butter. Add enough mashed potatoes to make the required quantity of stuffing, and season with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and melted butter. Fill the fish and sew up. Rub with melted butter, put a little hot water into the pan, and bake for 30 minutes, basting as required. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Escalloped Bluefish Flake cold cooked bluefish and mix it with an equal quantity of mashed potatoes. Fill buttered shells, sprinkle with grated cheese, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Fillets of Bluefish a la Duxel Skin, bone, and fillet a bluefish. Season with salt and pepper, and cook with melted butter and lemon juice until firm. Take from the fire and cool. Prepare a duxelle sauce. Boil down until thick, and cook the fish with it. Dip in crumbs, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with a diluted sauce poured around the fish. Fillets of bluefish with anchovy sauce. Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe, cooking with white wine as well as lemon juice. Prepare a cream sauce and add to it two tablespoonfuls each of butter and anchovy paste. Pour over the fish and serve. Bluefish à la Carienne Scale and score a two-pound bluefish and put in a buttered baking dish with three tablespoonfuls each of mushroom liquor and white wine and salt and pepper to season. Cover with a buttered paper and bake for 15 minutes. Take out the fish and add to the sauce three tablespoonfuls of stewed and strained tomatoes and one tablespoonful of chopped, cooked, smoked beef tongue. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Bluefish a la Venetienne Prepare according to directions for baked bluefish a la Talienne, adding to it a chopped tomato and six whole mushrooms. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, brown in the oven, and sprinkle with minced parsley. Fried Fillets of Bluefish Cut the fish into fillets and soak for half an hour in olive oil and lemon juice. Dip in crumbs, then in beaten egg, then in seasoned cracker crumbs, and set into a cold place for an hour. Fry in deep fat 
and serve with tartar sauce. Fried Bluefish Clean the fish, season with salt and pepper, dredge with flour, and fry in plenty of hot lard. Drain on brown paper and garnish with parsley. Steamed Bluefish Season the fish with salt and pepper and pour over it a cupful of vinegar. Let stand for an hour, pour off the vinegar, and steam for twenty minutes. Serve with any preferred sauce. End of section 8 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Robin Cotter, Toronto, Ontario, March 2007. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 9 Five Ways to Cook Butterfish. Fried Butterfish 1. Trim, draw, and clean the fish. Wipe dry, dip in milk. Roll in flour and fry in a frying pan in plenty of clear, hot fat. Drain on a cloth, sprinkle with salt, and garnish with lemon and parsley. Fried Butterfish 2 Clean, wash, and dry the fish. Rub with flour, season with salt and pepper. Dip in beaten egg, then in cracker dust or sifted bread crumbs. Fry in deep fat. Fried Butterfish 3 Clean and gash the fish, roll in cornmeal, and sauté in hot salt pork fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Butterfish with fine herbs Prepare according to directions given for sole with fine herbs. Boiled Butterfish Cover well-cleaned and lightly gashed butterfish with boiling water. Season with one chopped onion, parsley, and thyme, salt, and pepper. Boil gently for about ten minutes if small. Take from the water and serve with scalded milk seasoned with butter, pepper, salt, and minced parsley. End of section 9 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, LibriVox.org. Recording by Gazina. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 10. 22 Ways to Cook Carp. Baked Carp 1. Clean a carp and cover it with salted cold water and vinegar. Soak for an hour, then drain and dry. Stuff with seasoned crumbs, sew up, and put into a deep baking pan. Brush with beaten egg, sprinkle with bread crumbs, and dot with butter. Add two sliced onions and a pinch of sweet herbs, a cupful each of sweet wine and stock, and a teaspoonful of anchovy paste. Bake for an hour, basting as needed. Take out the fish, strain the liquor, Thicken with a tablespoonful of butter rolled in flour, and season with salt, pepper, lemon juice, and a pinch of sugar. Baked Carp 2 Let the fish stand in vinegar for 15 minutes. Stuff with seasoned crumbs and sew up. Brush with beaten egg, cover with crumbs, and dot with butter. Put into a baking pan with two chopped onions, a bunch of parsley, a cupful of water, and a teaspoonful of Worcester sauce. Bake in a moderate oven, basting as required. Add enough water to make a cupful of the liquid remaining after taking up the fish. Thicken with a tablespoonful of flour, blend it with an equal quantity of butter, strain, add the juice of a lemon, and pepper and salt to season. Stewed Carp 1. Clean and scale a carp, pouring boiling vinegar over the fish to facilitate the process. Wrap in a cloth and cook it gently in court bouillon. Serve with a sauce made of court bouillon, strained and thickened, with a few capers and a little anchovy sauce added. Stewed carp, two. Mix together one tablespoonful of salt, half a teaspoonful of pepper, 
and a pinch of powdered mace. Rub a clean fish with it, both inside and out. Leave it in a cold place for two hours. Then put into a kettle, cover with boiling water, add a small onion sliced, a sprig of parsley, a bay leaf, and a teaspoonful of marjoram. Simmer until done, drain, and serve with cream sauce. Boiled Carp Put a clean carp into a saucepan with sufficient beef stock to cover. Add an onion, four cloves, a bunch of sweet herbs, and salt to season. Simmer until the fish is done. Take out the fish and strain the sauce. Add two cupfuls of beef stock and thicken with browned flour. Boil until thick. Add a wine glass full of white wine and the juice of half a lemon. Pour the sauce over the fish and serve. Pickled Carp Put a clean carp into a fish kettle and pour over it boiling vinegar and a cupful of claret. Add two carrots and three onions chopped fine and sage, thyme, bay leaves, parsley, cloves and bruised garlic to season. Simmer for an hour and let cool in the liquid. Carp all'italienne Clean, scale and slice the fish. Fry with onion, parsley, thyme, salt and pepper, using plenty of butter. Add white wine to cover and simmer for ten minutes, then put in the oven and bake until tender. Add two lemons, sliced, and one cupful each of chopped almonds and currants. Cook long enough to soften the currants, adding stock if necessary. Carp à l'almonde Clean and cut into strips two pounds of carp. Add one wine glass full of claret, one cupful of beef stock, one cupful of chopped mushrooms, a carrot and an onion chopped fine, and salt, pepper, thyme, clove and parsley to season. Simmer for an hour, add a tablespoonful of capers, and serve on buttered toast. Carp à la Bordelaise Chop fine an onion, a carrot, and a bunch of parsley. Add two cupfuls of white wine, a clove of garlic, three cloves, and salt and pepper to season. Cook for fifteen minutes, then add two quarts of cold water. Boil the carp in this sauce and drain. Prepare a sauce as follows. Chop fine a small onion and a shallot. Season with salt and pepper and cook until soft with a wine glass full of claret. Add two cupfuls of beef stock and bring to the boil. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls of brown flour, rubbed smooth in a little cold water. Season with salt, red pepper, minced parsley and chives and add a small piece of cooked chopped marrow. Pour over the fish and serve very hot. Broiled carp Broil as usual, and serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley poured over it. Carp à la Française Put the clean fish into square pieces, and put it into a saucepan with four tablespoonfuls of olive oil, one cupful of claret, and a tablespoonful of butter, blended with an equal quantity of flour. Add a chopped clove of garlic, a shallot, a quarter of a pound of mushrooms, and salt, pepper, and minced parsley to season. Cook for 20 minutes and serve. Fried Carp 1. Soak the fish overnight in salt water. Drain, rinse in cold water, season with pepper and salt, dredge in flour and fry in butter. Fried Carp 2. Cook the carp in court bouillon, drain and cut in slices. Cover with a very thick cream sauce and let cool. Dip in crumbs, then in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Fried carp 3. Clean the fish and cut it into convenient pieces. Dip in milk, then in seasoned flour, and fry in hot fat. Carp à la Coblenz. Boil the fish with one cupful of Rhine wine, two cupfuls of white stock, two carrots and two onions sliced, half a cupful of sliced mushrooms and minced parsley, salt, pepper and sweet herbs to season. Add water if the stock is not sufficient to cover. Boil for half an hour, take the fish up, then thicken the sauce with butter and flour, and add the juice of half a lemon with another tablespoonful of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Baked carp à la marinière. Clean the fish and line it with bacon. 
boil carefully in court bouillon, to which one quarter of the quantity of white wine has been added. Boil for five minutes, then put the pan into the oven and bake for an hour and a half, basting frequently. Take out the fish, strain the liquid, thicken with brown flour, add a wine glass full of white wine, and boil until thick. Rub through a sieve and add three tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Steamed carp. Scale and clean the fish and steam until done. Serve with sour cream or with a drawn butter sauce seasoned with lemon juice. Carp in matelote. Cook the cleaned carp in a fish kettle with two sliced onions, a bunch of parsley, a little salt, a few peppercorns, two cloves of garlic, a quart of red wine and a pint of water. Cook slowly for 40 minutes and take out the fish. Strain the sauce and reduce by rapid boiling to one quart. Thicken with butter and brown flour and boil for half an hour. Skim, add three tablespoonfuls of butter, one tablespoonful of anchovy paste and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Carp à la bourguinotte. Stew the carp in red wine, drain and place on a platter. Cook four shallots, two cloves, a blade of mace, a pinch of thyme, a bay leaf and a mushroom for five minutes in enough red wine to cover. Add enough beef stock to make the required quantity of sauce and thicken with butter and bran flour. Cook until thick, strain and pour over the fish. Carp à la Périgueux Cook the carp in wine and drain. Chop six truffles fine. Add a tablespoonful of chopped raw ham, a pinch of thyme and a bay leaf. Cook for ten minutes in sufficient white wine to cover. Add a cupful of beef stock and thicken with butter and bran flour. Cook until thick, rub through a sieve, add a tablespoonful of butter and a little anchovy paste and the juice of half a lemon. Carp à la Lyon Clean the fish and cut into thick slices. Soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and vinegar. Season with salt, pepper, thyme, bay leaves and chopped onion. Drain, dip in flour, then in beaten egg, then in breadcrumbs, mixed with parmesan cheese. Fry in deep fat and garnish with lemon and parsley. Carp à la Provençale Stew the carp in court bouillon and white wine. Drain and place on a platter. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of chopped ham and olive oil, four bruised cloves of garlic, a pinch of thyme, a bay leaf, a tablespoonful of capers, a peeled lemon sliced, a small bunch of parsley and paprika to season. Cook for five minutes and add enough beef stock to make the required quantity of sauce and cook for ten minutes. Thicken with brown flour, rub through a sieve, skim, add a tablespoonful of butter and a little anchovy paste and pour over the fish. End of section 10 Recorded by Gesine in May 2007 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 11. Six Ways to Cook Catfish Catfish stewed with tomatoes. Slice the fish and fry in butter. When half cooked, Add a cupful of water, a chopped onion, a red pepper, and a can of tomatoes. Cook slowly for half an hour and serve with buttered toast. Fried Catfish 1. Clean and cut the fish in squares. Season with salt, pepper, and Worcester sauce. Dip in egg, then crumbs or cornmeal, and fry in deep fat. Fried Catfish 2. Prepare the fish according to directions given above, dredge with seasoned flour, and fry in butter in a frying pan. Fried Catfish 3. Skin and clean the fish, cut into pieces. Soak for an hour in olive oil and vinegar, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Stewed Catfish Soak the skinned fish in brine for an hour. Put into a saucepan with a chopped onion, 
cover with cold water, and simmer until they are tender. Take out the fish, season with salt, pepper, and butter, and thicken the liquid in which they were cooked, with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together, and mixed with half a cupful of boiling cream. Bring to a boil, add a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and one egg well beaten. Pour the sauce over the fish and serve. Boiled Catfish Boil the fish according to directions previously given. Thicken the remaining liquid with butter rolled in flour, seasoned with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Add two chopped hard-boiled eggs, pour over the fish, and serve. End of section 11
Take up the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Strain the liquid, thicken with butter rolled in flour, and season with lemon juice, grated onion, and four tablespoonfuls of grated Parmesan cheese. Bring to the boil and serve poured round the fish. Quick Baked Codfish Put a thick slice of codfish into a baking pan, rub with butter, season with pepper and salt, and add sufficient boiling water to moisten. Bake for half an hour, basting frequently. Thicken the gravy with butter and flour, pour over the fish, and serve. Baked Rock Cod with Dressing Season breadcrumbs with grated onion, sage, salt, and pepper. Add a tablespoonful of butter broken into bits and sufficient milk to moisten. Fill and sew up the fish. Lay in a baking pan on thin slices of salt pork. Rub with butter and cover with thin slices of pork. Pour over two tablespoonfuls of tomato catsup and half a cupful of boiling water. Bake for an hour, basting frequently. Baked Cod a la Bedford Soak the clean fish for two hours in olive oil seasoned with salt, pepper, and Worcestershire. Drain and put into a baking dish. Rub with butter and sprinkle with crumbs. Add two wine glassfuls of Catawba wine and two cupfuls of oyster liquor. Cover with buttered paper and bake for 40 minutes. Take up the fish, thicken the sauce with butter and flour, season with lemon juice and minced parsley. Pour around the fish and serve. Baked Codfish with Cream Parboil part of a codfish in salted water. Remove the bones and put the pieces into a baking dish in layers with cream sauce and seasoning between. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, sprinkle with grated nutmeg, and bake. Boiled Salt Codfish 1 Soak 2 pounds of salted cod overnight. Put into fresh water, bring to the boil, and serve with melted butter. Boiled Salt Codfish 2 Soak the fish overnight, change the water, and simmer until done. Serve with a drawn butter sauce. Boiled Salted Codfish with Egg Sauce Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Cook one teaspoonful of cornmeal until thick in one cupful of milk. Add one cupful of mashed potatoes, the codfish chopped, two tablespoonfuls of butter, two well-beaten eggs, and pepper to taste. Prepare an egg sauce. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Codfish with Oyster Sauce Boil the fish in salted water. Season with pepper, cloves, and lemon peel. Prepare a cream sauce and cook oysters in it until the edges curl. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Codfish with Cream Sauce Boil the codfish slowly in salted water. Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter. Add two tablespoonfuls of flour and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of cream and cook until thick stirring constantly. Add salt, pepper, and anchovy paste to season. Pour over the fish. Sprinkle with minced parsley and serve. Boiled Codfish a la Hollandaise Boil the fish according to directions previously given and serve with Hollandaise sauce. Boiled Codfish with Caper Sauce 1 Prepare according to directions given for boiled codfish with cream sauce, omitting the anchovy paste and adding two tablespoonfuls each of capers and melted butter. Boiled codfish with caper sauce, too. Boil a small fresh codfish in court bouillon and allow it to cool partially in the liquor. Serve with caper sauce. Boiled codfish creamed. Sew up the fish in a cloth dredged with flour and boil in salted and acidulated water. Unwrap and serve with sauce made of half a cupful each of milk and boiling water. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls of butter rolled in flour. Take from the fire, add two eggs well beaten, and salt, pepper, and minced parsley to season. 
Add a tablespoonful of capers or tarragon vinegar, pour over the fish, and garnish with slices of hard-boiled eggs. Boiled Codfish with Egg Sauce Prepare the fish according to directions given in the recipe for boiled codfish with oyster sauce. Serve with egg sauce. Codfish Balls with Egg Sauce Free two pounds of fresh cod from all bones. Chop it and season with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, and a little finely chopped lemon peel, adding chopped parsley, marjoram, a little soaked breadcrumbs with the water drained out well. Mix with two unbeaten eggs and form into balls the size of a tomato. Fry a large sliced onion in two ounces of butter and a cupful of boiling water. Let it boil up, then put in the balls. When cooked, beat three eggs. Strain in the juice of two large lemons, adding a little chopped parsley. Stir this well in without letting it boil. Then dish up the balls and strain the sauce over. Garnish with parsley. If liked, add three or four cut-up tomatoes to the balls. Codfish a la Creole 1. Flake one pound of cooked codfish, add it to one cupful of boiled rice, half a can of tomatoes strained, a chopped onion, two tablespoonfuls of butter, and salt and pepper to season. Cook slowly for half an hour. Codfish a la Creole 2 Soak overnight two pounds of salt codfish. Fry brown in lard a chopped onion and a bean of garlic. Mix with three tablespoonfuls of brown flour and cook thoroughly. Add a can of tomatoes which have been rubbed through a sieve and simmered until very thick. Drain and rinse the fish. Pour boiling water upon it and let stand until cool. Pick out the bones, add to the sauce, and reheat. Codfish Puffs Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Mix with an equal quantity of mashed potatoes, add a heaping tablespoonful of butter, and mix thoroughly using a little hot cream to moisten it. Add four eggs well beaten and mix thoroughly. Drop by spoonfuls into boiling fat and fry brown. Codfish au gratin Cook in court bouillon and cool in the liqueur. Scrape off the skin, take out the bones, and put in the baking dish in which it is to be served. Sprinkle it thickly with grated cheese and pour over a bechamel sauce. Sprinkle with crumbs and bake golden brown. Escalloped Codfish and Macaroni Mix together equal parts of cooked and broken macaroni and flaked boiled cod. Mix with cream sauce. Fill a buttered baking dish. Sprinkle thickly with grated cheese. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Fricasseed Salt Codfish Soak overnight in cold water two pounds of salt codfish. Take out the bones, cover with fresh water, and bring to the boil. Fry in olive oil two chopped onions and a green pepper with a sliced tomato, a bruised clove of garlic, and a chili pepper. Add six cupfuls of stock, three tablespoonfuls of tomato catsup, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and two cupfuls of peeled raw potatoes cut into dice. Cook until the potatoes are nearly done. Then add the codfish and boil for five or ten minutes. Creamed Codfish Flake cold cooked codfish or salted codfish which has been soaked and boiled. Mix with a cream sauce, adding one or two well-beaten eggs to the sauce just before serving. Escalloped Codfish with Cheese Prepare according to directions given for creamed codfish. Cover with grated cheese, crumbs, and butter, and bake in the oven. Broiled Salt Codfish Soak two pounds of salt codfish overnight. In the morning, change the water, add a chopped onion, Bring to the boil and cool. Drain, wipe dry, rub with melted butter, and broil. Serve with drawn butter sauce. Codfish Souffle Boil half a pound of salt codfish according to directions previously given. 
Mash the fish and mix with two cupfuls of mashed potatoes, pepper to season, and the yolks of two eggs, well beaten. Beat thoroughly. Fold in the stiffly beaten whites of the eggs and bake in a hot oven until well puffed and brown. Codfish and Macaroni Soak overnight half a pound of salt codfish. Boil for 20 minutes 2 ounces of broken macaroni. Melt 1 tablespoonful of butter. Add 1 of flour and cook thoroughly. Add 1 cupful of stewed and strained tomatoes and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, pepper, and grated onion. Add the fish and macaroni and cook for an hour in a double boiler. Codfish a la bonne femme. Soak overnight three pounds of salt codfish. Boil for 25 minutes a quart of peeled potatoes with salt, parsley, a clove, and an onion in the water. Add the fish and cook for 10 minutes longer. Arrange the fish on a platter with the drained potatoes for a border. Melt one teaspoonful of butter, add one of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of water in which the fish was cooked and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add the yolks of two eggs beaten with a teaspoonful of vinegar and a tablespoonful of melted butter. Season with pepper, pour over the fish and the potatoes, and serve. Codfish a la Beauregard Prepare according to directions given for creamed codfish using fresh codfish and omitting the egg. Serve on buttered toast and cover with hard-boiled eggs rubbed through a sieve. Stewed Codfish a la Lincoln Clean and bone four pounds of fresh codfish. Slice and scald two small onions. Drain and fry soft in salt pork fat. Cut the fish into cubes and season with salt and pepper. Boil the bones in water to cover with onion and pork fat. Put the fish into a buttered saucepan and strain the boiling liquid over it using enough to cover. Add the juice of half a lemon and thicken with one heaping tablespoonful of butter cooked with two of flour. Season with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and tomato or mushroom catsup. Just before the fish is done, add one quart of drained oysters and cook until the oysters are plump. Boiled Cod's Tongue with Egg Sauce Soak the tongues overnight, change the water, and boil for ten minutes. Serve with drawn butter sauce. Fried Codfish Tongues Wash the tongues, dip in cold milk, and roll in seasoned flour. Fry in butter and serve with tomato sauce. Cod's Tongues a la Poulette Prepare according to directions given for boiled cod's tongues with egg sauce and serve with a poulette sauce, using for liquid the water in which the tongues were boiled. Codfish Tongues a la Beurre Noir Prepare the tongues according to directions given in the recipe for boiled cod's tongues with egg sauce. Drain and serve with brown butter, seasoned with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Codfish Fritters Cut into strips fresh boiled cod or freshened and boiled salt cod. Dip in fritter batter and fry in deep fat. Deviled Codfish Flake cold cooked fish. Mix with an equal quantity of breadcrumbs the yolks of two hard-boiled eggs, and melted butter, grated onion, minced parsley, and pepper and salt to season. Add milk or oyster liquor to moisten, and fill buttered shells. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Codfish a la Seville Wash and dry one cupful of rice. Brown it in olive oil and drain. Put into a stew pan and cover with fillets of fresh cod fried in the oil. Add a sliced onion fried, half a dozen sliced tomatoes, and salt, cayenne, and lemon juice to season. Add two cupfuls of stock. Put a buttered paper on top, cover the pan, and bake half an hour in the oven. Take out the fish carefully. Mix the rice and seasoning together 
and serve as a border around the fish. Codfish a la bechamel Prepare according to directions given for creamed codfish, omitting the egg and using white stock and milk in equal parts instead of cream. Escalloped Codfish a la Bechamel Prepare according to directions given for codfish a la Bechamel, adding the yolks of three eggs. Arrange in a baking dish with layers of seasoned crumbs and add sufficient milk to moisten. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Codfish a la Flamande Prepare boiled codfish according to directions previously given. Melt one tablespoonful of butter and cook it in a teaspoonful of flour. Add one cupful of boiling water and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add the yolks of two eggs well beaten, four tablespoons of made mustard, and pepper, vinegar, grated nutmeg, and minced parsley to season. Add gradually half a cup of melted butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Stewed Codfish a la Shrewsbury Stuff the fish with drained oysters and seasoned crumbs, adding two tablespoonfuls of butter in small bits. Sew up, put on the grating in a fish kettle, seasoning with salt, pepper, and minced parsley. Dot with butter and add the oyster liqueur, and two cupfuls each of stock and water. Simmer for 40 minutes, basting as required. Take up the fish Thicken the sauce with butter and flour cooked together and boil for 10 minutes. Take from the fire, add a tablespoonful of butter, the juice of a lemon, and the yolks of two eggs well beaten. Strain over the fish and serve. Salt Codfish a la Brandade Cut the fish in pieces and soak in cold water for 24 hours. Put into fresh cold water. Bring to the boil and simmer for 20 minutes. Drain, bone, and cool. Mix to a cream with lemon juice and olive oil, adding a little milk if it becomes too thick. Season with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and garlic. Serve with toasted crackers and cheese. Stewed Cod with Oysters Cut fresh cod into fillets and put in a baking pan with salt, pepper, and chopped onion to season. Add one cupful of white wine and the liquor of two dozen parboiled oysters. Cook slowly for 15 minutes. Take out the fish, thicken the sauce with butter and flour cooked together. Add two tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Season with lemon juice and pour the sauce over the fish. Garnish with the parboiled oysters and serve. Salted Cod with Brown Butter Soak the fish for 24 hours and prepare according to directions given for boiled salted cod. Drain, wipe dry, and fry brown in butter, adding a little minced parsley. Codfish Steak Cut the fish into steaks about 2 inches thick. Season with salt and pepper and let stand for 2 hours. Dredge with cornmeal and fry in salt pork fat. Sprinkle with lemon juice and serve. Broiled Codfish Steaks with Bacon Prepare the steaks according to directions previously given and serve with a border of thin slices of bacon, fried crisp. Broiled Codfish Steaks Soak in salted water for 15 minutes, wipe dry, and let stand for an hour in olive oil and vinegar. Drain, season, and broil on a well-buttered gridiron. Serve with melted butter and minced parsley. Breaded Codfish Steaks Season the steaks with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Codfish Steaks Clean the steaks, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and dip into flour. Sauté in salt pork fat. Codfish Steaks a la Narragansett Fry the steaks with a chopped onion in butter, seasoning with salt and pepper. Take out and put a tablespoonful of flour into the frying pan. Cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of water and half a cupful of wine, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. 
Add two tablespoonfuls of butter. Season with minced parsley and lemon juice. Pour over the fish and serve. Codfish Hash Flake cold, cooked cod. Mix with an equal quantity of mashed potatoes and season to taste. Cook until light brown in butter. Matelot of Codfish Mix together one cupful of oysters, two cupfuls of breadcrumbs, two tablespoonfuls of butter, one egg and a small onion chopped. Stuff a small boned codfish and sew up. Lay the fish on slices of bacon in a baking pan and cover the top with bacon. Add sufficient boiling water and bake for an hour, basting as required. Stewed Codfish Flake cold cooked cod and reheat with butter, pepper, salt, minced parsley, cayenne, and lemon juice. Serve very hot on toast. Fillets of Codfish Clean and bone the fish and cut into thick strips. Put into a buttered saucepan with a little stock. Season, sprinkle with minced parsley, and set into the oven covered with a buttered paper. Serve in a deep platter with a border of mashed potatoes. Fried Cod Prepare the fish according to directions given for fillet of codfish. Season, dredge with flour, dip in egg and breadcrumbs, and fry in deep fat. Fried Codfish à la Maître d'Hôtel Prepare according to directions given for fried codfish. Serve with a sauce of melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Fried Fillets of Codfish Mix together one tablespoonful of olive oil, two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice, and salt, grated onion, and paprika to season. Soak fillets of codfish in this for an hour. Then drain, dip into beaten egg, then into breadcrumbs, and fry in deep fat. Drain on brown paper and serve with tartar sauce. Broiled Codfish Split the tail end of the fish and broil. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Codfish Pie Prepare creamed codfish according to directions previously given. Seasoning with grated onion. Fill a buttered baking dish and cover with mashed potato, beaten very light with an egg and a little cream. Rub with melted butter. Sprinkle with grated cheese. And bake in a quick oven. Escalloped Codfish Prepare the fish according to directions previously given. Flake and prepare according to directions given for creamed codfish. Put into a buttered baking pan with layers of seasoned crumbs between. Add milk to moisten, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. End of section 12. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Narrated by Sean McKinley. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 13. 45 Ways to Cook Eels. Braised Eel. Skin and clean an eel. Cut it into two inch pieces. Sprinkle with salt and let stand for an hour. Soak in cold water for 10 minutes, drain, and dry. Put into a buttered saucepan, seasoning with grated nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Cover with sliced lemon, chopped shallow, minced parsley, and a few peppercorns. Cover the pan and bake in the oven until the fish is brown. Take out the eel and put into a deep dish. Add to the sauce one cupful of stock Bring to the boil and thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Boil until thick. Take from the fire, add the yolks of three eggs beaten smooth with a little stock. Bring to the boil. Add a little lemon juice. Strain over the fish and serve. Broiled Eels 1. Skin, clean, and cut up a large eel. Dip into beaten egg then into crumbs seasoned with grated lemon rind, nutmeg, minced parsley, sweet herbs, pepper, and salt. 
Broil skin side down on a buttered gridiron, turning when done. Serve with anchovy or tartar sauce. Broiled eels, two. Clean and cut the eels into three inch lengths. Let stand for half an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice, seasoned with pepper and salt. Drain, broil, and garnish with fried parsley. Broiled eels with sour sauce. Clean the eels and cut into five inch lengths. Boil for ten minutes in one cupful of vinegar and enough cold water to cover, seasoning with salt, peppercorns, carrot, onion, and parsley. Cool in the water, dip in crumbs, then in eggs beaten with a tablespoonful of olive oil for each egg, then in bread crumbs. Broil as usual. Serve with a sauce made of two tablespoonfuls of chopped shallows, fried in two tablespoonfuls of butter, Added to a wine glass full each of white wine and vinegar. Add two cupfuls of stock and thicken with brown flour cooked in butter. Boil for five minutes. Add one tablespoonful each of chopped mushrooms, parsley, pickles, and capers, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Garnish with lemons and parsley. Fried Eels 1. Prepare and cut up the fish according to directions previously given and soak for several hours in vinegar with salt, pepper, and grated lemon peel. Drain, dip into batter, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Eels 2 Prepare according to directions previously given and cut into 2 inch pieces. Dredge with flour and saute in hot lard or dip into egg and bread crumbs and fry in deep fat. They may also be dipped into cornmeal before frying. Fried Eels 3 Prepare the eels according to directions given for stewed eels a la Américaine, sprinkling with shallow and parsley also. Let stand for several hours, dip into egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Eels 4. Clean the eels, cut into 2 inch pieces, and parboil for 8 minutes. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, dip into cornmeal, and saute in salt pork fat. Eels fried in batter. Cut a large cleaned eel into joints, and soak for several hours in cold water, to which salt, pepper, and vinegar have been added. Drain dip in batter, and fry in hot fat. Drain on brown paper and serve with tomato sauce. Eels a la Lyonnaise Clean two large eels, cut into four inch lengths and remove the bones. Cook in equal parts of white wine and water to cover, adding salt, pepper, a sliced onion, a clove of garlic, and a bunch of parsley. Drain the fish and strain the liquid. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls of flour, rubbed smooth, with two tablespoonfuls of butter. Boil for 15 minutes and skim. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter and the juice of a lemon. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve with a garnish of small onions fried in butter and sugar. Eels a la Vihua. Clean two large eels and cut into links. Cover with salted and acidulated water. Add a bunch of parsley, a sliced onion, and a pinch of powdered sweet herbs. Boil slowly for 10 minutes. Cool and drain. Melt one tablespoonful of butter and cook in it two tablespoonfuls of flour. Add two cupfuls of white stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and season to taste. Add the yolks of four eggs, well beaten and cool. Dip the pieces of eel in this sauce and set on ice. Roll in cracker crumbs, dip in beaten eggs, then in bread crumbs, and fry brown in deep fat. Eels a la Tartar Cut up the eel and cook in court bouillon with wine. Drain, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with a stiff mayonnaise mixed with chopped parsley, olives, pickles, and capers. Eels a l'Indienne Chop fine an onion, half a carrot, and a stalk of celery. Fry in butter, 
dredge with flour, and cook thoroughly. Add enough stock to make the required quantity of sauce, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with mace, thyme, a bay leaf, minced parsley, and curry powder. Strain through a sieve, and pour over eels stewed in wine and seasoned with vegetables according to directions previously given. Serve with a border of boiled rice sprinkled with grated Parmesan cheese. Eels a la Normandy Fry in butter a pound and a half of prepared eels. Add a wine glass full of white wine or cider, a tablespoonful of mushroom ketchup and salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season. Simmer for 10 minutes, add one cupful of white stock, half a dozen mushrooms, a dozen oysters, and half a dozen shrimps. When cooked, take from the fire, add the yolks of two eggs, well beaten, and serve at once. Stuffed Eels a l'Italien Skin the eel, but keep the head on. Remove the backbone and stuff with seasoned crumbs, mixed with minced parsley and mushrooms. Skewer in the form of a circle, put into a saucepan with two ounces of butter, a small bunch of parsley, a chopped onion, two cupfuls of white wine, and salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season. Bake for an hour, basting as required. Drain, take out the parsley, and add to the sauce two cupfuls of brown stock, and one cupful of chopped mushrooms, Boil for five minutes and thicken with browned flour cooked in butter. Season with minced parsley and lemon juice. Pour the sauce around the eel and serve. Eels a la London Fry four chopped onions in butter, dredge with flour, and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of stock, half a cupful of port wine, two bay leaves, and salt and pepper to season. Cook until thick stirring constantly. Add one large cleaned eel, cut into two inch lengths, cover and cook for 15 minutes. Serve on toast. Eels a la Reine Prepare and cut up the eels. Fry in butter with half a can of mushrooms and dredge with flour. Add one cupful of stock and half a cupful of white wine. Bring to the boil, season with salt, pepper, and a chopped onion, and cook until the eel is tender. Skim, take from the fire, and add the juice of half a lemon, beaten smooth with the yolks of two eggs. Eels a la Poulette Stew the eels in white wine with carrot, onion, parsley, bay leaf, thyme, peppercorns, and salt to season. Drain and serve with Poulette sauce. Fricassee of Eel Prepare the eel according to directions previously given. Cook in equal parts of white wine and water. Seasoning with mace, pepper, nutmeg, cloves, sweet herbs, allspice, and salt. Boil until the eels are tender, then skim out. Add a little anchovy paste to the sauce and a spoonful of butter. Bring to the boil, take from the fire, add the yolks of two eggs well beaten, Pour over the fish and serve. Fricasseed Eels Skin, clean, and cut up. Cover with cold water, add salt, and minced parsley to season. Cover and cook slowly for an hour. Thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour blended together and make smooth with cold water. Season highly with pepper and serve. Stewed Eels with Cucumbers Clean and skin two eels, cut into pieces and soak in cold water for an hour. Drain, cover with wine and water, seasoning with salt, pepper, onion, and parsley, and simmer for 15 minutes. Take out the fish and add three sliced and parboiled cucumbers. Strain the sauce, thicken with flour cooked in butter, and boil for 10 minutes. Skim. Add the yolks of four eggs, well beaten, and take from the fire. Season with red pepper and lemon juice. Strain over the fish and serve. Stewed Eels 1 Put into a saucepan three-fourths of a cupful of butter and fry in it four small chopped onions. 
add a tablespoonful of flour, cook through, and add two cupfuls of boiling water or stock. Cook until thick, stirring occasionally. Then put in one large cleaned eel cut into inch pieces. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. Stewed Eels 2 Wash and skin a pint of eels, cut them in pieces three inches long, pepper and salt them, and put them into a stew pan. Pour in one pint of good soup stock, adding one large onion, shredded, three cloves, a teaspoonful of grated lemon peel, and a wine glass full of port wine. Stew slowly for half an hour and pour into a hot dish. Strain the liqueur and add a wine glass full of cream thickened with flour, and boil up at once. Pour over the eels and serve. Stewed Eels 3 Clean, skin, and joint the eels. Cover with boiling water, add a tablespoonful of vinegar, and cook for 10 minutes. Drain, cook together 1 tablespoonful of butter and 2 of flour. Add two cupfuls of the water in which the eels were cooked. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, pepper, and grated onion. Then add the eels and reheat. Simmer for 20 minutes. Add a tablespoonful of minced parsley and serve. Stewed Eels 4 Prepare according to directions given above, using veal or fish stock instead of water, and adding a bay leaf to the seasoning. Stewed Eels a l'anglaise Cook prepared eels in half a bottle of port wine, seasoned with carrot, onion, parsley, bay leaf, thyme, salt, peppercorns, cloves, mace, and chopped mushrooms. Cover with buttered paper. Simmer for half an hour and drain. Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter and cook in it two tablespoonfuls of flour. Add a chopped shallow and enough of the eel liqueur to make the required quantity of sauce. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful of stock and two wine glassfuls of port wine. Bring to the boil, strain, add a few chopped mushrooms, a tablespoonful of butter, and minced parsley, lemon juice, and anchovy paste to season. Pour the sauce over the eels and serve. Stewed Eels a la Mexicaine Use three pounds of cleaned and skinned eel with all the fat removed. Cut in two inch pieces, season with pepper and salt and chopped onion, and put in a double boiler with half a cup of butter. Sprinkle with parsley, cover tightly, and cook for about an hour and a half. Serve in a deep dish. Stewed Eels a la Poulette Cut cleaned eels into two-inch pieces and cook until tender in stock. Thicken with butter and flour cooked together. Add half a dozen chopped mushrooms and salt, pepper, grated onion, and minced parsley to season. Boil for 20 minutes. Add the juice of a lemon and serve. Stewed Eels a la Canotière Fry a chopped onion in butter. Add a pound of rice and cook brown. Add four cupfuls of fish stock, seasoning with red and white pepper, caver, and cook for 20 minutes. Take from the fire, add half a cupful each of butter and tomato sauce. Prepare the eels according to directions given for eels a la Lyonnaise, adding a tablespoonful of anchovy essence to the sauce. Serve with a border of the rice. Stewed Eels a la Genevoise Prepare two eels, cut into four inch lengths. Put into a saucepan with a sliced carrot, an onion, a bunch of parsley, two cloves of garlic, and salt and peppercorns to season. Put in enough cider to cover the fish and simmer for 15 minutes. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, and thicken it with two tablespoonfuls of butter. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter to the sauce. Reheat, pour over the eels, and garnish with small onions fried brown in butter and sugar. Matelote of Eels 1 Prepare and cut up the fish according to directions previously given. Put into a saucepan with one cupful each of stock and claret, a bruised clove of garlic, a whole pepper, a sliced onion, a bay leaf, and a pinch each of thyme, cloves, parsley, and salt. 
Take out the fish, strain the sauce, add it to a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together, and pour over the fish. Matelote of Eels 2 Cut a pound and a half of prepared eels into two-inch pieces, and fry for two minutes in butter. Add a wine glass full of claret, and three tablespoonfuls each of stock and mushroom liqueur. Season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg, and a pinch of powdered sweet herbs. Add six small onions and six button mushrooms. Cook for half an hour and thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Matelote of Eels 3 Prepare two eels and cut them into two inch lengths. Cover with cold salted water and bring to the boil. Add an onion, a dozen cloves, and two tablespoonfuls of vinegar. Boil for 15 minutes, drain, dry, roll in flour, and fry brown in butter. Add two cupfuls of boiling water and salt, pepper, and fine herbs to season. Add a cupful of button onions, peeled and fried brown in butter and sugar. Cover and simmer for one hour. If the sauce should evaporate, add more boiling water. When done, add half a cupful of wine and serve. Matelote of Eels à la Parisienne Clean and cut the eels into four inch pieces. Cover with white wine and season with sliced carrot and chopped mushrooms. Add also the liqueur from three dozen parboiled oysters. Simmer until the eels are done and drain. Add to the liqueur half a cup of white stock and thicken with flour cooked in butter. Add two wine glassfuls of white wine and boil until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add the yolks of four eggs beaten smooth with the juice of half a lemon, a tablespoonful of butter, and a grating of nutmeg. Add the parboiled oysters and a handful of button mushrooms. Reheat, pour over the fish, and serve. Matelote of Eels à la Genoise Prepare the eels and cut into four inch lengths. Cover with claret or burgundy and add sliced carrot, onion, minced parsley, chopped mushrooms, thyme, a bay leaf, mace, cloves, and peppercorns to season. Simmer until done and drain. Add to the liqueur half a cupful of beef stock and thicken it with browned flour. Strain through a fine sieve and add a tablespoonful of butter, a little anchovy paste, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, a grating of nutmeg, and a little lemon juice. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Matelote of Eels à la Bordelaise Cut the eels into three inch lengths and cover with a bottle of claret. Season with carrot, onion, parsley, chopped mushrooms, thyme, bay leaf, mace, cloves, and peppercorns. Simmer for half an hour and drain. Thicken the liqueur with brown flour rubbed smooth with butter. Add two wine glassfuls of claret and bring to the boil. Skim. Add a teaspoonful of capers, a pounded clove of garlic, a little butter, grated nutmeg, and anchovy paste to season. Reheat, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Eels Cut into short pieces a pound and a half of eels, which have been skinned and cleaned. Put into a saucepan, cover with cold water, add a tablespoonful of salt, six whole peppers, one red onion, and a cupful of vinegar. Simmer for half an hour. Drain and serve on a platter with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Pickled Eels Clean and cut three pounds of eels into six-inch lengths. Cover with salt, let stand for three hours, then rinse thoroughly. Boil together for 15 minutes one cupful of vinegar, one cupful of water, a sliced onion, two bay leaves, three allspice, and a slice of lemon. Put in half of the eels and simmer until tender. Take out and cook the remaining half. Let the vinegar cool before pouring over the eels. Green Eels Boil together an onion, a bunch of parsley, a pinch of celery seed, and a tablespoonful of mixed spices and a little water. Add two cleaned and cut eels with water to cover and simmer until done. Strain the sauce. 
Thicken with butter and flour cooked together, and pour over the eels. Serve with boiled potatoes and cucumber salad. Baked Eels Skin and parboil, cut into two-inch pieces, and put into a baking pan. Dredge with flour, season with salt and pepper, and add half a cupful of water. Bake for 20 minutes and take out. Thicken the gravy with a tablespoonful of flour rubbed smooth with a little of the liquid. Add a tablespoonful of butter, a teaspoonful of Worcester sauce, and add enough boiling water to make the sauce of the proper consistency. Bring to the boil and pour around the eels. Baked Eels with Tartar Sauce Clean and skin two large eels. Wrap in a wet cloth and simmer for 15 minutes in court bouillon. Cook in the liqueur. Take out, wipe dry, and cover with seasoned crumbs. Spread with two eggs beaten with one tablespoonful of olive oil and sprinkle with crumbs. Put into a baking pan with two tablespoonfuls of butter and bake for half an hour, basting twice. Serve with tartar sauce. English Eel Pie Skin, clean, and cut up two large eels. Cook with one table of chopped mushrooms, a tablespoonful of chopped parsley, a minced onion, a bay leaf, salt, pepper, the rind of a lemon, a wine glassful of sherry, and a cupful of beef stock. Cook until the eels are tender. Strain the sauce, and thicken with butter and flour. Line a baking dish with pastry, put the eels in it, and pour the sauce over with sliced hard-boiled eggs on top. Cover with pastry, brush with yolk of egg, and bake for an hour in a moderate oven. Serve either hot or cold. Collared Eels Clean, split, and bone one large eel, and season with salt and pepper. Chop together three hard-boiled eggs, a beet, a tablespoonful of capers, two pickles, one onion, and three anchovies. Add salt and pepper. Cover the eel with a mixture, tie in a cloth, and cook with a bay leaf for half an hour in equal parts of vinegar and water. Drain, untie, and put into a mold with aspic jelly or with beef stock to which sufficient dissolved gelatin has been added. Serve cold with mayonnaise. Eels en brochette. Boil the eel in a quart bouillon and cut into two inch pieces. Dip into egg and crumbs and string on steel skewers, alternating with squares of bacon. Bake in the oven and serve on toast. Creamed eels. Clean and cut up the eels and stew according to directions previously given. Pour over a cream sauce seasoned with salt, paprika, onion juice, and minced parsley. End of section 13. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Robin Cotter, Toronto, Ontario, March 2007. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 14 15 Ways to Cook Finnan Haddie Boiled Finnan Haddie 1. Divide into convenient pieces, cover with boiling water, add a teaspoonful of sugar, and boil for 15 minutes. Take up on a hot platter, remove the skin, and dot with butter. Boiled Finnan Haddie 2. Cover the fish with boiling water, boil for 5 minutes, drain, cover with melted butter, and serve with plain boiled potatoes. Broiled Finnan Haddie 1. Brown a haddie on a greased broiler. Cover with hot water. Let stand for 10 minutes and drain. Spread with butter and sprinkle with pepper. Broiled Finnan Haddie 2. 
Cut the haddie into small squares, skin and parboil it. Wipe dry, broil on a buttered gridiron, and serve with melted butter. Broiled fin and haddie, three. Wash the fish thoroughly, and let stand in cold water for three quarters of an hour. Then cover with boiling water for five minutes. Wipe dry, rub with butter and lemon juice, and broil for fifteen minutes. Serve with melted butter or tartar sauce. Broiled fin and haddie, four. Wash the fish and soak for half an hour in cold water, skin side up. Cover with water just below the boiling point and let stand for fifteen minutes. Wipe dry, brush with olive oil, and broil slowly. Serve with melted butter and lemon juice. Baked fin and haddie, one. Pour boiling water over the fish and let it stand for ten minutes. Take it out of the water, lay it in a baking pan, brush with butter and pepper, and bake for fifteen minutes. Baked fin and haddie, two. Put a haddie into a frying pan, pour over it half a cupful of milk and half a cupful of water. Heat slowly and let stand just below the boiling point for half an hour. Pour off the liquid, spread with butter, and bake for twenty five minutes in a hot oven. Escalloped Fin and Haddie Prepare the fish according to the directions given in the preceding recipe. After drying, remove the skin and bones and flake with a fork. Butter a baking dish and put the fish into it. Pour over it a sauce made of two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together and added to two cupfuls of milk. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Toasted Fin and Haddie Brush the fish with butter and sprinkle it with pepper. Broil until cooked through and serve with toast. Fin and Haddie a la Delmonico Flake half a pound of freshened fin and haddie and fry in a little butter. Add one cupful of cream beaten with the yolk of a raw egg. Thicken with a tablespoonful of flour rubbed smooth with a little of the cream. Add a hard boiled egg chopped fine and a teaspoonful of grated cheese. Serve on toast. Savory fin and haddie. Dip the fish in boiling water. Take out all the bones and skin. Mash the meat with a tablespoonful each of butter and cream, seasoning with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Cook until thick and pour over slices of buttered toast. Fin and Haddie Hash Prepare the fish according to directions given for boiled fin and haddie. Mix with an equal quantity of hot mashed potatoes, moisten with cream, and season with chopped green peppers fried in oil. Fin and haddie with tomatoes. Lay a haddie in a deep dish, cover with boiling water, and let stand for ten minutes. Drain and remove skin and break in good sized flakes. Cook two level tablespoonfuls of butter and a tablespoonful of finely minced onion in a saucepan until golden brown. Add one cupful of the solid part of canned tomatoes. When it begins to simmer, add salt and pepper to taste. Then add the prepared fish and simmer for five minutes. Add one tablespoonful of finely minced parsley and serve. Creamed Fin and Haddie Parboil, drain, and flake the fish. Reheat with shredded fried green peppers in a cream sauce. Canned pimentos may be used instead of the green peppers. End of section 14. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Carol Good www.soundsgood.com How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 15 32 Ways to Cook Flounder Baked Flounder 
Clean and split two flounders and take out all the small bones. Lay the fish in a buttered dish. Sprinkle with chopped mushrooms, minced parsley, onion, and grated breadcrumbs. Season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Dot with butter and bake. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour and thicken two cupfuls of milk with it. Season with salt, pepper, lemon juice, anchovy paste, and minced parsley. Add a tablespoonful of capers. Drain the butter from the fish, pour over the sauce, and serve. Baked Flounder a l'Italienne Cook together a tablespoonful of butter, two tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley, one tablespoonful each of chopped mushrooms and shallots, and two cupfuls of white wine. Reduce half by rapid boiling. Add one cupful of chicken stock and half a cupful of milk or beef stock, and thicken with flour blended with butter. Season with salt and pepper and boil down until very thick. Prepare a flounder according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Season with salt and pepper, rub with butter, pour over one cupful of white wine, cover with the sauce, and sprinkle thickly with crumbs. Bake in a moderate oven until done. Serve in the same dish. Baked Flounder a la Bon Valet Put a cleaned flounder into a baking pan with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, chopped onion, a tablespoonful of butter, a wine glass full of white wine, and a cupful of white stock. Bake carefully, basting as required. Take up the fish, add another cupful of stock, and thicken the sauce with two tablespoonfuls of flour, blended with an equal quantity of butter. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of three eggs well beaten and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Spread this sauce over the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Sprinkle with lemon juice and serve. Baked Flounder a la Parisienne Stuff a cleaned flounder with seasoned crumbs and put into a buttered baking dish. Dot with butter, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and pour over half a cupful each of oyster liqueur and white wine. Cover with buttered paper and bake for 40 minutes, basting as required. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, and prepare a sauce according to directions given in the first part of the recipe for flounder pie a la Normandie. Add the strained liquid to the sauce. Pour over the fish, cover with crumbs, and brown in the oven. Baked Flounder a la St. Malo Put the cleaned fish into a buttered baking dish with chopped onions, parsley, salt, pepper, a tablespoonful of butter, and two cupfuls of cider. Also add a little mussel or oyster liqueur, if at hand. Bake for half an hour in a moderate oven, basting as needed. Drain the sauce. Thicken with a tablespoonful of butter cooked with an equal quantity of flour. Add more butter and a squeeze of lemon juice. Pour the sauce over the fish and serve. Baked Fillets of Flounder in Wine Fillet the fish. Mix together four tablespoonfuls of sherry, half a cupful of butter, one tablespoonful each of onion juice, lemon juice, and salt, and add pepper to season. Bring to a boil, dip the fillets into it, arrange in a baking dish, cover with the remaining sauce, and bake in a hot oven for 10 minutes. Fry in butter a slice each of onion and carrot, a bay leaf, and a sprig of parsley. Add a tablespoonful of flour and cook thoroughly. Add one cupful of chicken stock and half a cupful of cream. Cook until thick stirring constantly, and seasoning with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Add the gravy from the baking pan. Strain, reheat, pour over the fish, and serve. Baked Fillets of Flounder Remove the backbone and cut the fish into four pieces. Roll up each piece and pin with a toothpick. Soak for an hour in oil and lemon juice. Roll in seasoned crumbs, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs. Put into a baking pan upon thin slices of salt pork. Sprinkle with chopped onions and olives. Cover and bake. Garnish with sliced lemons. Flounder with fine herbs. 
Put the prepared fish into a pan with two tablespoonfuls of butter, the juice of a lemon, and salt and pepper to season. Add one cupful each of water and white wine. Cover and cook for half an hour. Drain the fish. Thicken the sauce with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter. Boil. Strain. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter and two tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley. Pour over the fish and serve. Flounder à la Française. Cover a flounder with white wine. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Add a bunch of parsley, a few chives, a bay leaf, and a little chopped onion. Boil for ten minutes. Take up the fish carefully. Rub the sauce through a sieve. Thicken with a tablespoonful of flour rubbed smooth with half a cupful of butter. Bring to the boil. Pour over the fish and serve. Flounder à la Janine. Fill a flounder with seasoned crumbs mixed with chopped mushrooms, shallots, and parsley. Put on a buttered baking dish. Season with salt and pepper. Dot with butter and pour over half a cupful each of sherry and oyster liqueur. Bake until done, basting as required. Take up the fish. Add a cupful of stock to the sauce and thicken with browned flour. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter and a little lemon juice. Strain over the fish and garnish with parboiled oysters. Flounder à la Provençale. Clean two flounders and let stand for four hours in a marinade of olive oil and lemon juice, seasoned with salt, pepper, onion, parsley, thyme, bay leaves, and bruised garlic. Put into a baking dish with the seasoning a teaspoon of butter. One cupful each of stock and white wine. Bake for half an hour, basting as needed. Drain, strain, and skim the sauce. Thicken with butter and flour. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of four eggs, well beaten, and lemon juice to taste. Season with red pepper and minced parsley. Pour over the fish and serve. Breaded turbans of flounder. Fillet three flounders. Season with salt and pepper. Dip into melted butter. Roll up and fasten with a toothpick. Dip into egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Turbans of flounder with anchovies. Drain a bottle of anchovies from the oil. Mix with two tablespoonfuls of butter, half a cupful of stock, a tablespoonful of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Pound to a paste and add the yolks of two raw eggs. Prepare the fillet of flounder according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Spread with the force meat. Roll up and pin with toothpicks. Roll in melted butter, then in flour, and bake in a hot oven for twenty minutes. Turbans of flounder with oysters. Prepare according to directions given above, stuffing with chopped oysters and seasoned crumbs. Fricassee of flounder. Clean the flounders, cut into convenient pieces, season with salt, dredge with flour, and fry in boiling fat. Chop a dozen oysters and put into a saucepan with their liqueur, one cupful of white wine, a tablespoonful of anchovy paste, and salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to taste. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Fried flounder. Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, dip into milk, then into flour, and saute in pork fat. Or dip in beaten egg and breadcrumbs and fry in deep fat. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Fried fillets of flounder. Prepare the fillets according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Keep in a cold place for half an hour. Fry in deep fat and serve with tartar sauce. Fillets of flounder au gratin. Cook together three tablespoonfuls of butter, one tablespoonful of flour, a slice of onion, and a bay leaf. Add two cupfuls of chicken stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Strain and add a tablespoonful of lemon juice. Dip the fillets of fish into melted butter. Season with salt and pepper. Cover with sauce and breadcrumbs. Bake for twenty minutes in a very hot oven. Fillets of flounder à la Lyon. Bone the fish and cut into fillets. 
Wash in cold salted water and wipe dry. Dip in egg and seasoned bread crumbs and fry in hot drippings. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley, or tomato sauce, or a sauce made as follows: Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour, and thicken with it a cupful. Of, add a tablespoonful each of lemon juice, chopped pickles, and capers, a teaspoonful each of minced parsley and mustard, and the mashed yolk of a hard-boiled egg. Beat thoroughly together and serve either hot or cold. Fillet of flounder à la Normandie. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given and season with pepper and salt. Fry a small chopped onion in butter and add two chopped hard-boiled eggs and one tablespoonful of minced parsley. Season with pepper and salt. Add a tablespoonful of butter and cook to a smooth paste. Spread the fillets with this paste. Put a parboiled mussel on each one. Roll and tie with a string. Add to the mussel liqueur one cupful of cream and simmer the fillets in it for six minutes. Take out and cut the strings. Thicken the sauce with the yolks of two eggs beaten with four tablespoonfuls of cream. Add a teaspoonful of butter and a few drops of lemon juice. Add a few parboiled mussels to the sauce. Reheat. Pour over the fish and serve. Stuffed fillets of flounder. One. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Season with salt and pepper and dredge in flour. Put half of the fillets into a buttered baking dish. Chop together a button onion, a small bunch of parsley, half a stalk of celery, and half a can of mushrooms. Mix two tablespoonfuls of butter with one teaspoonful of flour and add to the chopped mixture with the yolks of two raw eggs. Season with salt, red and black pepper, and mix thoroughly. Spread the fillets in the pan with this stuffing and lay the other fillets on top. Cover with buttered paper and cook for twelve minutes. Serve with the remaining mushrooms heated and sprinkle with lemon juice. Stuffed fillets of flounder two. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Put each two together with mashed potato beaten light with egg between. Cover with crumbs. Dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Fillets of flounder with green peas. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Dip into melted butter and season with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Skewer into shape with toothpicks and arrange in a baking dish. Half cover with stock made from the fish trimmings and bake for ten minutes. Arrange in a circle on a platter and fill the center with green peas seasoned with salt, pepper, and butter. Strain the stock, thicken with butter and flour cooked together, and serve separately as a sauce. Steamed fillets of flounder. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given, and spread with chopped pickles, olives, capers, parsley, and onions. Roll up, fasten with toothpicks, and steam or bake, basting with stock, or dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Stuffed fillets of flounder à la Delmonico. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Cover with half a cupful of white wine, one cupful of fish stock made from the bones, and salt and paprika to season. Simmer for twenty minutes. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add half a cupful of stock and cook until very thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful each of shrimps and oysters chopped fine, a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce, the yolk of an egg, and two drops of Tabasco sauce. Dip the fillets in this mixture and cool. When cold, dip in crumbs, then in egg, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Rolled fillets of flounder. Prepare the fillets as directed and spread with anchovies, lobster, shrimps, or sardines. Mashed to a paste with butter. Roll up, fasten with toothpicks, and bake, fry, sauté, or stew as preferred. Broiled fillets of flounder à la Brighton. Season the fillets with salt, pepper, and oil. Broil carefully and put on slices of buttered toast. 
Surround with parboiled oysters and serve over a sauce made of water and the oyster liqueur, thickened with butter and flour cooked together, and seasoned with anchovy paste. Fillets of Flounder à la Deep Poise Prepare the fillets as directed, seasoning with salt and pepper. Brown in melted butter and cool. Sprinkle with crumbs. Dip in eggs beaten with an equal quantity of melted butter. Roll in fresh crumbs and broil, basting with oil. Serve with melted butter, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Flounder Pie à la Normandy Chop fine two carrots and two onions, two sprigs of parsley, a stalk of celery, and a bit of bay leaf. Fry in butter, seasoning with salt and pepper and powdered mace. Add two cupfuls of boiled milk and cook slowly for 25 minutes. Press through a sieve, add two cupfuls of cream, and reheat. Add the fillets of a two-pound flounder, the mussels taken from a quart of mussel shells, a quart of oysters, parboiled in their liqueur, and drained, and half a pound of cleaned, fresh mushrooms. Cook for two minutes. Thicken with the yolks of two eggs beaten, with one tablespoonful of butter and two of cream. Fill a baking dish lined with pastry, cover with crust, and bake. Broiled Flounder à la Chivry Cut the flounder into fillets as previously directed. Soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice seasoned with salt, pepper, onion, and parsley. Dip in crumbs and broil, basting with oil. Serve with quartered lemon. Flounder with white wine sauce. Put the prepared fish into a baking dish with two tablespoonfuls of butter, two cupfuls of white wine, and salt and pepper to taste. Cover and cook for 20 minutes, adding more water if necessary. Drain the fish, thicken the gravy with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter, bring to the boil, add the juice of a lemon and two tablespoonfuls of butter, pour over the fish, and serve. Flounder au gratin Fry in butter chopped parsley, shallot, and button mushrooms. Season with salt and pepper and spread on the bottom of a baking dish. Lay on them a trimmed flounder. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, moisten with white wine, and cook carefully. Serve in the same dish. End of section 15「ーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーー
Put a tablespoonful of butter into a saucepan, and when it bubbles, put in the frog legs with a sprig of parsley and salt and pepper to season. Fry brown and garnish with slices of lemon. Southern Fried Frog Legs Parboil the legs for three minutes in salted water. Beat together one egg and half a cupful of milk. Season the legs with salt and pepper. Dip into the milk, then into cracker crumbs rolled fine, and fry in deep fat. Fried Frog Legs La Anglaise Season the frog legs with salt and pepper and soak for an hour in lemon juice. Roll in flour, dip in beaten egg, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with tomato sauce. Fried Frog Legs La Frenaise Marinate for an hour in vinegar with salt, pepper, parsley, chopped onion, bay leaves, and thyme. Drain, roll in flour, and saute in hot fat. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Boiled Frog Legs Soak the legs for half an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice, seasoned with salt and pepper. Broil on a double broiler and serve with matre de hotel sauce. Baked Frog Legs Prepare and clean one dozen frog legs. Butter a baking dish, sprinkle with chopped mushrooms and crumbs, and lay the frog legs on them. Season with salt and pepper and sweet herbs. Sprinkle with crumbs, squeeze over the juice of a lemon, and pour in a cupful of brown sauce. Cover and bake for a half an hour in a moderate oven. Fricasse of Frog Legs 1 Simmer the prepared legs in milk until tender. Drain and put in a platter. Spread with butter and keep warm. Cook together one tablespoonful of flour and two of butter. Add the milk in which the legs were cooked and enough more to make a pint. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, paprika, and minced parsley. Take from the fire and add two eggs well beaten with the juice of half a lemon. Bring to the boil. Pour over the frog legs and serve. Fricasse of frog legs too. Prepare and skin the legs and boil until tender in veal stock to cover with pepper and salt to season, a bunch of sweet herbs and a bit of lemon peel. Add a small slice of onion and cook until the legs are tender. Strain the liquid, thicken it with butter and flour and a little cream cooked together. Add the frog legs and a few canned mushrooms cut fine. Bring to the boil and serve. Fricasse of frog legs 3. Brown a dozen frog legs in butter with half a teaspoonful of chopped onions. Add one half cupful of water and one half cupful of sherry. Cover and cook for 20 minutes. Beat the yolks of four eggs with two tablespoonfuls of cream. Add a little of the hot liquid. Pour into the pan and bring to the boil. Skim out the frog legs, put on a platter, and strain the sauce over them. Brown fricasse of frog legs. Melt one tablespoonful of butter and brown it in two tablespoonfuls of flour. Add sufficient brown stock to make the required quantity of sauce and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, pepper, grated lemon peel, grated onion, sweet herbs, anchovy paste, and a pinch of allspice. Dip the frog legs in flour and fry brown. Arrange on a platter, cover the broiled mushrooms, pour the sauce over, and serve. Stewed Frog Legs 1 Soak the frog legs for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice, adding a teaspoonful of chopped onion. Fry brown in butter a small onion, a tomato, and a green pepper, all chopped fine. Add two tablespoonfuls of flour and cook to a smooth paste. Add the frog legs and enough water or stock to keep from burning. Cover and cook for 10 or 15 minutes. Stewed frog legs 2. Melt one tablespoonful of butter and brown it in one tablespoonful of flour. Add one cupful of stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a dozen prepared frog legs. Simmer for 10 minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Take from the fire. 
Add the yolk of an egg beaten smooth with a little cold water. Bring the boil and serve at once. Stewed frog legs. Three. Soak the prepared legs in milk for 15 minutes. Dip in seasoned flour and fry in hot butter for three minutes. Cover with hot water and simmer for 20 minutes. Bring half a cupful of cream to the boil. Stir in a tablespoonful of butter rolled in flour and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add to the frog legs. Cook three minutes longer. Season with salt, pepper, and minced parsley and serve. Stewed frog legs four. Brown a dozen frog legs in butter, sprinkle with flour, and add enough cream to make the required quantity of sauce. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a teaspoonful each of onion juice and minced parsley, and salt and pepper to season. Take from the fire and add the yolks of two eggs beaten smooth with a little cold milk. Bring to the boil and serve very hot. Frog legs la hollandaise. Fry the prepared frog legs in butter, seasoning with salt and pepper. Add half a wine glass full of white wine. Cover and simmer for five minutes. Then add two cupfuls of hollandaise sauce, two teaspoons of finely chopped parsley, and a little lemon juice. Bring to the boil and serve very hot. Frog legs la provenale. Cover the bottom of a saucepan with olive oil and sprinkle with finely minced garlic. Lay the frog legs on this. Cover and cook until brown. Squeeze over the juice of half a lemon. Sprinkle with parsley and serve. Frog legs au bor noir. Boil the legs in court bouillon for five minutes. Drain, arrange on a serving dish, sprinkle with minced parsley, and keep warm. Brown half a cupful of butter in a frying pan, taking care not to burn. Add two tablespoonfuls of vinegar and salt and pepper to season. Pour over the frog legs and serve. Frog legs la poulette one. Parboil a dozen frog legs, drain and cool. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add one cupful of milk or white stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add salt and pepper to season and the frog legs. Cover and cook for 20 minutes. Take from the fire. Add the yolk of an egg beaten smooth with a little cold water and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Bring to the boil and serve at once. Frog legs la poulette too. Season prepared frog legs with salt, pepper, and nutmeg, and fry brown in butter. Add two tablespoonfuls of flour and two cupfuls of cream. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a wine glassful of white wine, two tablespoonfuls of butter, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and the yolks of four eggs beaten smooth with the juice of a lemon. Bring to the boil and serve. Frog legs patties. Boil the legs until the meat drops from the bone. Remove the bone. Reheat in cream sauce and season to taste. Fill patty shells and serve. Frog legs la crayola. Melt a tablespoonful of butter in a saucepan and fry in it a chopped onion, a tablespoonful of chopped raw ham, and half a green pepper shredded. Season highly with salt and pepper. Add four cupfuls of stock, a tablespoonful of rice, six sliced okras, and one sliced tomato. Cook thoroughly for 20 minutes. Add four cupfuls of prepared frog legs and simmer until they are tender. Half of this recipe is sufficient for a small family. End of section 16. Section 17 of How to Cook Fish. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 17 22 Ways to Cook Haddock Broiled Haddock 1. Clean and dry a fresh haddock, rub with vinegar, sprinkle with flour, and broil on a well-greased gridiron. Serve with shrimp or anchovy sauce. Broiled Haddock 
2. Soak the fish for an hour in a marinade of oil and vinegar. Drain, wipe dry, broil, and serve with melted butter. Broiled Haddock a la Maitre d'Hôtel Clean and split a haddock, season with salt and pepper, dredge with flour and broil. Serve with Maitre d'Hôtel sauce. Broiled Smoked Haddock Rub the fish with melted butter, season with pepper, and broil. Serve very hot. Fried Fillets of Haddock 1 Skin, clean and fillet a haddock. Season with pepper and salt. Dip into egg and crumbs, and fry brown in deep fat. Fried fillets of haddock, too. Cut the fish into fillets and marinade in oil and vinegar with a little onion. Drain, dip in batter, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with tomato sauce. Fried Smoked Haddock Soak a haddock for four hours in olive oil to cover. Drain and fry in a frying pan with a little of the oil. Season with pepper and serve very hot. Baked Haddock 1 Make a stuffing of equal parts of chopped bacon and bread crumbs. Season with salt and pepper anchovy essence, and add a raw egg to bind. Stuff a cleaned haddock and sew up. Mix one tablespoonful of flour with one of cold water, add one cupful of boiling water, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add one tablespoonful of butter and two tablespoonfuls of essence of anchovy. Pour the sauce into a baking pan, Put the fish on it and bake for an hour, basting as required. Baked Haddock 2 Make a stuffing of one cupful of cracker crumbs, one-fourth of a cupful of butter and salt, minced onion, pickles, pepper, and parsley to season. Stuff the fish, sew up, cover with strips of salt pork, dredge with flour, and Bake until brown, basting as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Haddock 3 Stuff the fish with crumbs and chopped veal, seasoning to taste and using a raw egg to bind. Rub with beaten egg, sprinkle with crumbs, and bake in a moderate oven, basting with melted butter as required. Serve with anchovy sauce. Baked Fillets of Haddock Clean and fillet a fish, put into a pan with melted butter, and season with pepper, salt, and lemon juice. Sprinkle with minced parsley, cover with buttered paper, and bake in the oven. Serve with Italian sauce. Baked Haddock with Sauce Clean and cut up the fish and remove the bones. Cut into small pieces. Butter a baking dish, sprinkle with crumbs, put in a layer of the fish, and spread with crumbs seasoned with salt, pepper, thyme, and grated onion, and mixed to a paste with raw egg. Repeat until the dish is full, having crumbs and butter on top. Add enough milk to moisten and bake. For the sauce, Simmer the bones and trimmings of the fish, strain, season, and thicken with a teaspoonful each of butter and flour, cooked together and blended with a little hot water. Baked Haddock with Oyster Stuffing Remove the skin, head, and tail, and take out as many bones as possible. Divide into two fillets. Sprinkle with salt and brush with lemon juice. Lay one fillet on a greased fish sheet in a dripping pan and cover thickly with seasoned oysters dipped in buttered cracker crumbs. Cover with the other fillet. Brush with egg slightly beaten. 
Cover with buttered crumbs, and bake for fifty minutes in a moderate oven. Serve with hollandaise sauce. Haddock Rarebit Cut the haddock into slices an inch thick, free from bone and skin. Lay in a greased baking dish and season with salt and pepper. Grate sufficient cheese to cover, and season with salt, red pepper, and mustard. Make to a smooth paste with cream or beaten egg. Put into a hot oven and cook until the cheese melts and browns, and the fish is firm. Take up carefully on a platter and pour one tablespoonful of sherry over each slice. Boiled Haddock with White Sauce Boil the fish in salted and acidulated water, with a bunch of parsley to season. Cook together two tablespoonfuls of butter and one of flour, and add salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season. Add two cupfuls of boiling water, bring to the boil, strain, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Haddock with Egg Sauce Mix finely grated bread crumbs with half the quantity of chopped beef suet. Season with minced parsley, shallot, thyme, pepper, salt, and grated nutmeg. Bind with a raw egg. Stuff and sew up the fish and boil in salted water. For the sauce, melt one tablespoonful of butter, add two of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add two cupfuls of boiling water, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add two chopped hard-boiled eggs, season to taste, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Haddock with Lobster Sauce Boil the fish gently in salted boiling water to cover. Melt three tablespoonfuls of butter, add two tablespoonfuls of flour, and cook thoroughly. Add gradually two cupfuls of boiling water, and cook until thick. Season with lemon juice and cayenne. Strain the sauce and reheat. Add the finely cut meat of a small boiled lobster and the pounded coral. Pour over the fish and serve. Stewed Haddock Split the fish lengthwise and cut into pieces. Boil the bones and trimmings in water to cover and strain. Butter a baking dish. Put the fish into it with the flesh downward and sprinkle each piece with salt, cayenne, mace, and flour. Pour over it two cupfuls of the fish liquor, cover, and simmer for twenty minutes. Add two teaspoonfuls of anchovy essence and one cupful of sherry. Blend together two tablespoonfuls each of flour and butter. Make smooth with a little of the gravy and thicken all of it. Simmer for ten minutes and serve with the gravy poured over the fish. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Haddocks and Oysters Clean and fillet a haddock. Cover the trimmings with water and add the liquor drained from a pint of oysters. Add a slice of onion, a pinch of powdered sweet herbs, and a slice of carrot. Simmer to form a stock. Put a layer of sliced onion into a saucepan and arrange upon it the fillets of fish and a pint of oysters. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, add the juice of a lemon, cover with sliced onion, strain the stock over, cover and simmer until the fillets are tender. Arrange the fillets on a hot dish with the oysters, strain the liquid, thicken it with the yolks of four eggs, pour over, and serve. Fillets of Haddock a la Royale Prepare the fillets and put into a basin with a marinade of oil and lemon juice seasoned with pepper, salt, minced parsley, and chopped shallots. 
Drain. Dip into batter and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Haddock a la creme. Boil the fish in salted and acidulated water. Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter and cook in it two heaping tablespoonfuls of flour. Add four cupfuls of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with pepper, salt, grated onion, and minced parsley. Put the fish into a serving dish, skin it carefully, and pour the sauce over it. Put a border of mashed potatoes around the fish, rub with melted butter, and put into the oven until the potato is brown. Haddock Cutlets Prepare a sauce according to directions given in the preceding recipe, using one-fourth the quantity of milk. Mix the sauce with cold, cooked haddock, minced very fine, and cool. Shape into cutlets. Dip into egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. End of section 17 Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox Spring 2007This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Leanne Howlett. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 18. 80 Ways to Cook Halibut. Broiled Halibut. 1. Cut into steaks, dust with salt and pepper, Cover with melted butter and let stand for half an hour. Dredge with flour and broil. Serve with a garnish of sliced lemon and parsley. Broiled Halibut II Freshen salt halibut for an hour or two in cold water. Drain, season with pepper, and wrap each slice in tough paper well buttered, twisting the ends. Broil for eight minutes. Take from the papers and serve with any preferred sauce. Broiled Halibut three, Season with salt and pepper and broil on a buttered gridiron over a clear fire. Serve with plenty of melted butter. Broiled Halibut four, Sprinkle halibut steaks with salt. Rub thoroughly with melted butter and broil until brown. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Broiled Halibut five. Rub halibut steaks with olive oil and lemon juice and broil over a clear fire. Season with pepper and salt and serve with melted butter. Broiled halibut a la Boston. Broil one side of halibut steaks until heated through, then turn and spread the other side with a paste of butter, flour, chopped onion, and tomato pulp. Cook until brown and serve with the crust side up. Halibut a la Rarebit. Sprinkle two halibut steaks with salt and pepper, brush with melted butter, and bake until done. Arrange on a platter, pour over a Welsh rarebit, and serve. Halibut a la Majestic Skin and bone halibut steaks and cut into fillets. Lay in a buttered baking dish, spread with butter, and add a wine glass full of white wine and a little boiling water. Cover with buttered paper and set into a hot oven until cooked. Take the pan out, cover the fish with a layer of sweet Spanish peppers, spread with cream sauce, sprinkle with crumbs and grated cheese, dot with butter, and brown in a hot oven. Serve in the same dish. Halibut a la Conant In a buttered baking pan, put three thin slices of fat salt pork, three slices of onion, and a bit of bay leaf. On top of these, lay a halibut steak and spread over it one tablespoonful each of butter and flour blended together. Cover with buttered cracker crumbs and small strips of salt pork and bake for 20 minutes. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Halibut a la maitre de hotel. Soak two halibut steaks for an hour in lemon juice, seasoned with salt, pepper, and minced parsley. 
Mix together two tablespoonfuls of butter, one tablespoonful of flour, and two cupfuls of boiling water. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Put the slices of halibut into a buttered pan, cover with the sauce, and bake for 20 minutes, basting as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Halibut a la Creole 1. Wash a thick piece of halibut, put on a buttered baking dish, and season with salt and pepper. Cover with finely minced garlic, add one cupful of canned tomatoes, and enough boiling water to keep from burning. Bake until done, basting as required. Halibut a la Creole 2. Lay halibut steak for an hour in oil and vinegar, adding chopped onion and minced parsley to the marinade. Drain and put the fish into a baking pan. Turn over it a sauce made of one cupful of strained tomatoes, a tablespoonful of butter, a heaping teaspoonful of flour, and salt, paprika, and grated onion to season. Cover closely and bake until tender. Sprinkle with grated cheese and cook for five minutes longer. Transfer the fish carefully to a hot platter and pour the sauce around it. Halibut a la Creole 3 Boil together a pint of stewed tomatoes, a cupful of water, a slice of onion, and three cloves. Blend together two tablespoonfuls of butter and one of flour and stir into the sauce when it boils. Season with salt and pepper and cook for 10 minutes. Strain and cool. Skin the fish according to directions given in the recipe for baked halibut 1. Put on a buttered tin sheet in a baking pan, season with salt and pepper and bake, basting frequently with the sauce. Baked halibut 1. Take 3 or 4 pounds of the fish and remove the dark skin by dipping it into boiling water and scraping. Rub the flesh with salt and pepper, put it into a baking pan, and add enough milk to cover the bottom of the pan an inch deep. Bake for an hour, basting frequently with the milk. Take out the fish, remove the bone and skin, and serve with egg sauce. Baked halibut 2. Soak 6 pounds of halibut in salt water for 2 hours. Wipe dry and score the outer skin. Bake for an hour in a moderately hot oven, basting with melted butter and hot water. Add a little boiling water to the gravy, a tablespoonful of walnut catsup, a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper to season, and the juice of a lemon. Thicken with browned flour, rubbed smooth with a little cold water. Baked halibut three. Take a thick cut of halibut and soak for half an hour in salted water. Put into a baking pan with two slices of carrot, a slice of onion, and half a bay leaf. Pour over it a cupful of boiling water and two tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Bake for an hour, basting frequently, and serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Halibut 4 Lay a thick piece of halibut into a buttered pan, cover with thin slices of salt pork, and dredge with salt, pepper, and flour. Cover the bottom of the pan with boiling water and bake for an hour. Baste with the gravy in the pan and melted butter, adding salt, pepper, and flour as needed. A bay leaf, a sprig of parsley, two slices of carrot, and half an onion or a clove of garlic may be put into the dripping pan. Baked Halibut 5 Prepare according to directions given for baked halibut too, seasoning the gravy with lemon and onion juice, celery salt, and half a cupful of claret. Baked halibut with lobster sauce. Put a piece of halibut on a buttered fish sheet, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and dredge with flour. Cover the bottom of the pan with water, add a sprig of parsley, a slice of onion, two slices of carrot, three tablespoonfuls of butter, and a bit of bay leaf. Bake for an hour, basting as required, and serve with lobster sauce. Baked halibut with tomato sauce. Cook together for 20 minutes two cupfuls of tomatoes, one cupful of water, a slice of onion, three cloves, and a teaspoonful of sugar. Cook together three tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour, stir into the hot mixture, and cook until thick. Strain and pour half of the sauce around two pounds of halibut placed on a buttered tin sheet. Bake for 35 minutes, basting often. Transfer to a hot platter and pour the remaining sauce around. Baked halibut with cream. Cover the fish with cream sauce, then with crumbs. Dot with butter and bake. 
Baked Fillets of Halibut Au Gratin Bake half a dozen fillets of halibut for half an hour, seasoning with salt and pepper and basting with milk. Cover with a cream sauce to which half a cupful of grated cheese has been added, then with fried crumbs. Reheat and serve in the same dish. Baked Halibut Steaks with Oysters Soak two halibut steaks for an hour in a marinade of oil and vinegar. Lay thin slices of salt pork upon a buttered tin sheet and spread thin slices of salt pork upon it. Lay one of the steaks upon the pork. Dip oysters in melted butter, then in cracker crumbs, and cover the steak with them. Put the other steak on top, cover with thin slices of pork, and bake for 40 minutes, basting with the juice in the pan or with butter melted in hot water. A few minutes before taking up, remove the pork from the top and cover with cracker crumbs and melted butter. Serve with hollandaise sauce to which parboiled oysters have been added. Baked Fillets of Halibut Skin, bone, and fillet two halibut steaks. Dip in melted butter, season with salt, pepper, lemon, and onion juice. Roll up each fillet, fasten with a wooden toothpick, and bake for 20 minutes, basting with butter melted in hot water. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Halibut Steaks 1 Put a halibut steak into a buttered baking dish and spread with a dressing made of one cupful of crumbs, one tablespoonful of butter, and grated onion, minced parsley, grated nutmeg, salt, and red and black pepper to season. Lay another steak on top, season with salt and pepper, dot with butter, and bake for half an hour. Baked Halibut Steaks 2 Wash the steaks and soak for an hour in olive oil and lemon juice. Put into a buttered baking dish, sprinkle with minced onion and parsley, and pour over a cream sauce, using white stock instead of milk if preferred. Put a layer of flaked cooked halibut into a buttered baking dish, season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg, add a layer of chopped mushrooms and a few tablespoonfuls of the sauce. Repeat until the dish is full, having sauce on top. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Baked Halibut Steaks 3 Trim the steaks, lay them in a baking pan, season with salt and pepper, dredge with flour, dot with butter, pour over one cup full of cream and bake for 15 minutes in a quick oven, basting with cream. Baked Chicken Halibut Prepare a dressing according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Stuff a chicken halibut, sew up and bake in a buttered pan, basting with melted butter and salted hot water. Serve with hollandaise sauce. Baked halibut steaks with tomatoes. Soak the steaks for an hour in olive oil and lemon juice. Cook together for 15 minutes a can of tomatoes and a seeded chopped green pepper, half an onion, a teaspoonful of sugar, and pepper and salt to season. Rub through a colander and cool. Put the drained fish in a buttered baking pan, pour the sauce over, and bake. Deviled Halibut 1. Flake cold cooked halibut. Make a force meat of breadcrumbs, the yolks of two eggs, a tablespoonful of melted butter and salt, paprika, grated onion, and minced parsley to season. Mix the fish, moisten with oyster liquor, and fill buttered individual shells. Cover with crumbs, season with salt and pepper, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Deviled Halibut 2. Flake a pound of cooked halibut. Mix together the pounded yolks of three hard-boiled eggs, one tablespoonful of olive oil, two teaspoonfuls of sugar, a teaspoonful of made mustard, a pinch of cayenne, a teaspoonful of salt, a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoonful of anchovy paste, and enough vinegar to make a smooth paste. Mix thoroughly with the fish and garnish with hard-boiled eggs sliced or quartered. Molded Halibut with Green Peas Chop a pound of raw halibut very fine. Add to it the yolk of an egg well beaten and salt, red and white pepper to season. Add a teaspoonful of cornstarch rubbed smooth with two-thirds of a cupful of milk and one-third of a cupful of cream whipped solid. Fill buttered individual molds, put into a pan of hot water, and bake in a slow oven for 20 minutes. Turn out on a platter and surround with cooked peas, reheated in cream sauce. Sandwiches of Chicken Halibut Cut chicken halibut into thin fillets. 
put together in pairs with chopped oysters between, rubbed to a paste with seasoned crumbs and cream. Rub with melted butter, sprinkle with lemon juice, and season with salt and pepper. Put into a shallow pan with half a cupful of white wine and bake for 20 minutes. Arrange on a platter, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve with hollandaise sauce. Turbans of Halibut Have a slice of halibut cut two inches thick. Take off the skin and cut into cylinders with a small tin baking powder box. Steam until firm and serve with a cream sauce flavored with parsley and lemon. Or, bake in milk and serve with cream sauce using a stewed and strained tomato for half of the liquid. Halibut and Lobster a la Hollandaise Reheat equal quantities of boiled and flaked lobster and halibut in hollandaise sauce. Halibut Steak a la Jardinere 1. Soak halibut steaks for an hour in salt and water. Wipe dry and rub with melted butter. Butter a china baking dish, sprinkle chopped onion on the bottom, and put in the steaks. On top, put a boiled carrot cut into dice, half a dozen sliced tomatoes, a shredded green pepper, and half a cupful of green peas. Add enough salted boiling water to keep the fish from scorching, put a tablespoonful of butter on top, cover, and bake until done. Drain the liquor carefully from the pan, add three tablespoonfuls of white wine, and thicken with a teaspoonful of butter rolled in browned flour. Serve separately as a sauce. Halibut a la Jardinere 2. Cover two slices of halibut with a chopped onion, two tomatoes sliced, a shredded and seeded green pepper, a dozen chopped almonds, a tablespoonful of melted butter, and salt to season. Bake for half an hour, pour over the sauce from the pan, and serve. Halibut and Cucumbers Cook the halibut until tender in court bouillon. Drain and flake with a fork. Make a cream sauce, seasoning with curry powder. Pare, cut in halves, and parboil in beef stock as many cucumbers as are required. Scoop out the inside of each half, fill with the creamed fish, Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake in the oven until the cucumbers are soft. Serve with a garnish of lemon and parsley. Halibut with anchovy sauce. Four tablespoonfuls of butter, four tablespoonfuls of flour, one-eighth teaspoonful of pepper, one-half teaspoonful of salt, two hard-boiled eggs chopped, two cupfuls of cream, two drops of Tabasco, one teaspoonful of anchovy essence, one and one half cupfuls of cold cooked halibut, flaked. Mix the ingredients in the order given and cook for 10 minutes. Serve with brown bread spread with cheese and chopped olives. Halibut au gratin. Flake cold cooked halibut and mix with an equal quantity of cream sauce. Put into buttered individual shells, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Escalopade Halibut Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe and add the yolks of two eggs well beaten. Fill a baking dish using alternate layers of fish and grated cheese. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Halibut Steak a la Flamande Butter a baking pan, sprinkle with chopped onion, and lay a halibut steak upon it. Pour over the beaten yolk of an egg, season with salt and pepper, Add the juice of half a lemon and one tablespoonful of butter cut into small pieces. Bake for 30 minutes. Add to the liquid remaining in the pan enough boiling water to make the required quantity of sauce and thicken it with browned flour. Creamed Halibut Flake cold cooked halibut and mix with cream sauce. Add a tablespoonful of minced parsley, the juice of half a lemon, and three tablespoonfuls of grated Parmesan cheese. Spread on buttered toast, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Halibut Salad Take cold cooked halibut cut small. Salt and pepper lightly and sprinkle with lemon juice. For the dressing, boil three large peeled potatoes until mealy. Drain, let dry, and beat to a dry powder with a fork. Add one salt spoonful of salt, the same of mustard and pepper, one rounding teaspoonful of powdered sugar, and two tablespoonfuls of vinegar beaten in gradually. Pour over the halibut and decorate with lettuce or green tops. Turkish Halibut 
Place on the bottom of a baking pan two or three slices of onion, then a cutlet of halibut, and put a tablespoonful of butter cut into small bits over the top of the fish. Cut three skinned tomatoes into quarters, slice the sweet green pepper into ribbons, and put the tomatoes and pepper on the fish. Put the pan on the shelf of the oven to cook first the vegetables, but do not let it remain there long enough to discolor or change their shape. Then remove it to the bottom of the oven, baste it well, and finish the cooking. When done, place it carefully on a hot dish and pour over it the juice from the pan. Halibut Pie Butter a china baking dish and sprinkle with chopped shallots and parsley. Add a layer of chopped halibut and salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, chopped shallots, and parsley to season. Dot with butter and cover with sliced hard-boiled eggs. Add a cupful of cream sauce and two wine glassfuls of white wine. Wet the edge, cover with pastry, gash, brush with egg, and bake for an hour and a half in a moderate oven. Make a hole in the center and moisten the pie with milk if it becomes too dry. Steamed Halibut Put the prepared fish on a plate, cover with a cloth, and put in a steamer. Steam for two hours and pour over an egg sauce. Halibut Mousselines Mince enough uncooked halibut to make two cupfuls. Add one cupful of soft bread crumbs and one half cupful of cream. Press through a colander, season with salt, pepper, lemon juice, a suspicion of mace, and Worcestershire sauce. Fold in carefully the beaten whites of four eggs. Turn into buttered molds, round bottom ones, and steam one half hour. Turn out on separate plates, surround with sauce, make a stock of the fish bones and water, and add it to two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour cooked together. There should be one and one half cupfuls of stock. Add one half cupful of cream, and when boiling, add salt, pepper, and one tablespoonful of grated horseradish soaked in lemon juice. Halibut Steaks a la Maitre de Hotel Season the steaks with salt and pepper and rub thoroughly with oil. Broil in a double broiler and serve with melted butter, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Timbale of Halibut Chop half a pound of raw halibut and press it through a sieve. Mix a cupful of breadcrumbs to a smooth paste with half a cupful of milk and cook until it thickens. Take from the fire, add the fish pulp and the stiffly beaten whites of five eggs. Fill buttered timbale molds with the mixture and cook in a pan of hot water and a moderate oven for 20 minutes. Serve with cream or tomato sauce. Fillets of Halibut a la Poulet Free the fish of skin and bones and cut it into fillets. Sprinkle with lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Cover with sliced onion and let stand for half an hour. Remove the onion, dip into melted butter, roll up each piece, and fasten with a wooden toothpick. Dip once more into the butter, dredge thickly with flour, and bake for 20 minutes in a moderate oven. Cut the whites of three hard-boiled eggs into rings and arrange around the fillets after taking up. Sprinkle the grated yolks over the fish and serve with cream sauce. Cold Halibut Fillet Prepare half a dozen fillets of halibut, remove the skin and bone, and boil in court bouillon. Drain and sprinkle with olive oil, lemon juice, minced parsley, and chopped onion. Serve with tartar sauce. Fillets of Halibut with Tomato Sauce Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given and bake basting with tomato juice and melted butter. Serve with tomato sauce. Fillets of halibut stuffed with oysters. Prepare the fillets according to directions given for fillets of halibut a la poulet. Roll each one around an oyster, fasten with a wooden toothpick, and bake as usual. Fillets of halibut with brown sauce. Put the seasoned fillets into a buttered pan with sufficient boiling water and bake, basting as required. Drain off the water, add to it a teaspoonful of beef extract, and thicken with browned flour. Pour the sauce over the fish, cover with buttered crumbs, and bake until the crumbs are brown. Fillets of Halibut with Potato Balls Cut the solid meat into fillets, seasoning with salt, pepper, onion, and lemon juice. Brown slightly in pork fat, then place in a baking dish. Prepare a cream sauce, adding to it a slice each of carrot and onion, a bay leaf, and minced parsley, and grated nutmeg to season. Strain over the fish and bake for 12 minutes. Serve with a border of steamed potato balls. 
Fried Fillets of Halibut, 1. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given and soak for an hour in a marinade of oil, vinegar, and minced onion. Drain, dip in batter, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Fried Fillets of Halibut, 2. Clean and fillet the fish. Dip into beaten egg, then into crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Mayonnaise of halibut with cucumbers. Boil or steam halibut steaks according to directions previously given. Remove the skin, cover with thinly sliced cucumbers, and pour over a mayonnaise dressing. Halibut loaf. Cook together two tablespoonfuls of butter and one tablespoonful of flour. Add half a can of chopped mushrooms, two cupfuls of chopped cooked halibut, pepper, salt, onion juice, and anchovy paste to season, and two eggs beaten smooth with four tablespoonfuls of cream. Pour into a buttered mold, cover, set into a pan of hot water, and cook steadily for an hour. Turn out and garnish with potato balls. Halibut and Eggs Flake a pound of cooked halibut and mix with six eggs well beaten. Season with salt and pepper and cook in butter, stirring constantly until the eggs set. Serve on buttered toast. Halibut and Ramekins Prepare the fish according to directions given for halibut and cucumbers. Fill buttered individual dishes, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake in the oven. Halibut Fish Balls Flake cold cooked halibut and mix with an equal quantity of mashed potatoes beaten very light with egg. Season with salt, pepper, and melted butter. Shape into balls, dip into melted butter, dredge with flour, and fry in deep fat. Breaded Halibut Prepare according to directions given for halibut a la creole 1, sprinkling with minced parsley as well as garlic. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake in the oven. Coquilles of Halibut Flake cold cooked halibut and mix with cream sauce. Season with mushroom catsup, fill buttered individual shells, cover with fried breadcrumbs and heat thoroughly in the oven. Halibut with caper sauce. Boil the halibut in salted and acidulated water. Pour over a caper sauce. Halibut pudding. Three pounds of halibut, six eggs, one quarter pound butter, one quart sweet milk, two tablespoonfuls of cornstarch, one tablespoonful of flour. Skin and bone the fish and run through a meat chopper. Add flour and cornstarch, mixing well. Add butter, rubbing all to a cream. Next the eggs, one at a time, thoroughly beating after each one. Add milk gradually, one quarter teaspoon pepper and one and one half teaspoons of salt. Beat until it thickens. Grease and line a deep baking pan with browned bread crumbs. Fill with the fish mixture and sprinkle crumbs on top. Bake for an hour and a half in a moderate oven Cover it first, then remove the cover and let it brown well. Boiled Halibut 1 Put 2 pounds of halibut into a saucepan and cover it with fresh water. Add a sliced onion, half a carrot sliced, 2 tablespoonfuls of vinegar, a small bunch of parsley, a pinch of powdered sweet herbs, and 2 tablespoonfuls of salt. Simmer until done, drain, and serve with melted butter to which a little anchovy paste has been added. Boiled Halibut 2. Rub the fish with salt, sprinkle with lemon juice, and keep in a cool place for an hour. Cover with cold water, bring quickly to the boil, and simmer until done. Serve with egg sauce. Boiled Halibut Steaks au gratin. Soak the steaks in salted water for an hour, drain, and sprinkle with oil and lemon juice. Put into a covered baking pan, sprinkle with chopped onion and a tablespoonful of melted butter, and add a cupful of boiling water. Cover and cook until nearly done, then uncover, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake brown. Serve with tartar sauce. Boiled Halibut Steaks Cover the steaks with court bouillon or hot water, and add a slice each of carrot, onion, and celery, a bay leaf, four cloves, six peppercorns, and the juice of half a lemon. Simmer until done, drain and serve with any preferred sauce. Boiled Halibut a la Bechamel 
Prepare boiled halibut according to directions previously given, and serve with bechamel sauce, seasoning with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Add four tablespoonfuls of butter and a pinch of sugar and strain over the fish. Boiled halibut with parsley sauce. Boil the halibut in salted and acidulated water. For the sauce, boil a cupful of chopped parsley for five minutes and a cupful of water. Strain the water through a sieve and thicken with a tablespoonful of butter blended with a tablespoonful of flour. Take from the fire, season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg, add the yolks of two eggs well beaten, a little minced parsley, two tablespoonfuls of butter, and a few drops of lemon juice or vinegar. Strain over the fish and serve. Carbonade of Halibut Skin the halibut and cut into large cubes. Dip into melted butter, seasoned with salt, pepper, and onion juice, then into beaten egg, then into crumbs. Put into a buttered baking pan, spread with egg and butter, and cook in a hot oven for 12 minutes. Serve with hollandaise sauce. Fried Halibut 1 Cut into steaks and saute in butter in a frying pan, or dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Fried Halibut 2 Season halibut steaks with salt and pepper, dredge with flour, and saute in salt pork fat. Serve the pork with the fish. Fried halibut 3. Soak halibut steaks for an hour in a marinade of oil and vinegar. Drain, dredge with seasoned flour, dip in beaten egg, then in seasoned crumbs. Fry in deep fat. Fried halibut with tomato sauce. Remove the skin and bones from small halibut steaks, dip in milk, roll in seasoned flour, and fry light brown. Serve with a sauce of stewed, strained, and seasoned tomatoes thickened with butter and flour cooked together. Escalopade Halibut a Parmesan Cut in thin slices four pounds of halibut meat. Put into a buttered pan with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, and chopped onions to season. Cover, cook slowly, and then drain. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour, add a quart of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add the yolks of four eggs well beaten and half a cupful of grated cheese. Put into a buttered baking dish a layer of fish, cover it with sauce, and repeat until the dish is full, having sauce on top. Sprinkle thickly with crumbs and grated cheese, dot with butter, and bake in a moderate oven. Breaded Halibut Steaks Dip halibut steaks into egg and bread crumbs and broil on a buttered gridiron, basting with melted butter or olive oil. Halibut Timbales Chop fine a slice of raw halibut and rub it through a sieve. Season one cupful of the pulp with salt, red pepper, and onion juice, then add gradually the stiffly beaten whites of four eggs and one cupful of whipped cream. Fill buttered timbali molds, cover with buttered paper, and bake for 15 minutes in a pan of hot water. Turn out and serve with any preferred sauce. Halibut au poulet. Melt one-fourth of a cupful of butter and season it with salt, pepper, grated onion, and lemon juice. Dip prepared fillets of halibut into it. Roll up and fasten with a wooden toothpick. Dredge with flour and bake, basting with melted butter. Arrange on a platter, pour over a cream sauce, and sprinkle thickly with chopped hard-boiled eggs. End of section 18. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Matthew Royal. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 19. 25 Ways to Cook Herring. Stewed Herring. Clean the fish and cut off the heads. Pack in layers in an earthen pot and sprinkle salt and pepper over each layer. Chop together carrots and onions, enough to cover the fish, and fry in butter with parsley, a few peppercorns, and a minced clove of garlic. Pour over the vegetables enough white wine to cover the fish, and bring to the boil. Simmer for half an hour, then strain over the fish, and cook over a slow fire until done. Matelote of Herring Cut off the heads and tails, and divide each herring lengthwise into two fillets. Put a small amount of butter into a frying pan, and add enough flour to absorb nearly all of it. Then add a little chopped parsley and a few chopped shallots. 
Lay the fish in the pan, add enough red wine to cover, and cook over a hot fire. Garnish with small onions fried in butter and sugar, and sautéed mushrooms. Broiled herring. Clean and split the fish. Let stand for an hour in olive oil, seasoned with minced parsley. Broil over a slow fire and serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Broiled herring with mustard sauce. Clean and cut off the heads of the fish, but do not split. Dip in seasoned oil and let stand for an hour. Broil over a slow fire. Mix together one teaspoonful of flour and one teaspoonful of mustard. Add one cupful of white stock and bring to the boil. Add one tablespoon of butter, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and pepper and salt to taste. Pour over the fish and serve. Broiled Smoked Herring Put the cleaned herring into a bowl. Cover with boiling water. Let stand for 10 minutes. Skin, wipe dry, broil, and serve with melted butter. Broiled Herring with Cream Sauce Soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice, seasoned with salt and pepper. Broil and serve with a cream sauce. Add to the sauce a teaspoonful of minced parsley and a few drops of vinegar. Fried Herring 1. Clean and cut up the fish, dip in milk, roll in flour and fry in hot fat. Serve with a cream sauce to which four tablespoons of prepared mustard have been added. Fried Herring 2. Clean and cut up the fish, dredge with salt, pepper, and flour, and put into a frying pan with hot lard. Fried Herring 3. Remove the head and tail, clean, gash down to the bone, roll in cornmeal, and fry in salt pork fat. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Herring a la Normandy. Chop a large onion fine and fry it. When brown, fry half a dozen prepared herrings in the same fat. When brown, add salt, pepper, and two tablespoonfuls of vinegar. Bring to the boil and pour over the herring. Serve with mustard. Smoked herring a la marine. Cut off the heads of smoked herrings and put the rest in a bowl. Cover with hot water and soak for two hours. Take them out, skin, bone, and soak for two weeks in enough oil to cover with sliced onions, peppercorns, and bay leaves. Keep in a cool place. Boiled herring. Clean the fish thoroughly and rub with salt and vinegar. Skewer their tails in their mouths and boil for 10 or 12 minutes. Drain and serve with melted butter and parsley. Herring Relish Soak six Holland herrings overnight. Remove the backbones, cut up into inch pieces, and add three onions sliced thin. Cover with vinegar and serve the next day. Herring Salad Soak four salt herrings in water overnight. Drain and chop fine. Mix with four boiled beets, three heads of celery boiled, four peeled sour apples, two onions, three pickles, and two pounds of lean roast veal. Chop very fine, season with salt and pepper, and pour over enough oil to moisten, and enough vinegar to suit the taste. Serve very cold with a garnish of hard-boiled eggs. Herring Salad a la Brenoise, B-R-E-N-O-I-S-E. Peel and cut into dice a quart of cold-boiled potatoes, four peeled and cored sour apples, the fillets of four salt herrings, a cucumber pickle, and two boiled beets. Add salt, pepper, chopped onion, vinegar, mustard, and mayonnaise dressing. Sprinkle with minced parsley before serving. Swedish Herring Salad Soak two salted Holland herrings for 24 hours. Remove the bones and cut into dice. Add an equal amount of cooked meat, cut into dice, and half the quantity each of boiled potatoes, sour apples, and beets chopped fine. Chop one tablespoon of capers and four hard-boiled eggs. Add to the salad with three tablespoons of cream, two of olive oil, two of vinegar, and pepper, sugar, and mustard to taste. Press in a mold and serve on platter with a garnish of parsley. Serve with the same kind of dressing that was mixed with the salad. Smoked Herring Salad Put the crisp leaves of a head of lettuce into a salad bowl. Skin and remove the bone from two smoked herrings. Chop fine and mix with the lettuce. Pour over a French dressing to which a chopped hard-boiled egg has been added. Pickled Herring Soak in milk and water overnight. Next day, 
Put the herring into a stone jar with alternate layers of sliced onion, a few slices of lemon, a few cloves, bay leaves, and whole peppers, and enough mustard seed to season. Rub the roe through a sieve, add a tablespoon of brown sugar, and add it to the herring. Pour over enough vinegar to cover the fish and let stand three or four days before using. Herring Balls Parboil three red herrings, skin and remove the bones. Add an equal quantity of baked potatoes, skinned and mashed. Make to a paste with cream and melted butter. Season to taste and shape into balls. Dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Baked Smoked Herring Wash thoroughly, wipe dry, wrap in clean wet manila paper, and put into a quick oven for 15 minutes. Served with sliced lemon. Baked Fresh Herring Clean a dozen fresh herrings, removing the head and tail. Butter a deep earthen dish, put in a layer of fish, two slices of lemon, and three or four slices of onion. Season with pepper and salt and repeat until the dish is full. Cover with vinegar. Tie a sheet of buttered brown paper over the dish and bake in a slow oven for six hours. The bones will be dissolved. Marinade of Herring Soak white salted herrings for two hours in milk to cover. Split remove the bones, and cut each half into three pieces. Pack in layers in a deep jar, seasoning between the layers with minced shallot, pounded clove, and white pepper. Add here and there a bit of bay leaf and a slice of fresh lemon, with half the rind taken off. Use the roe with the herring. Season the top layer, cover with vinegar, add three tablespoons of olive oil, and let stand for two days before using. Escalloped Herring Soak four or five Norway herrings overnight. Divide the fish down the back, remove the skin and bones, and cut into eight squares. Arrange in a baking pan with alternate layers of cold-boiled potatoes, seasoning each layer with butter and red pepper. Have potatoes on top. Pour over three eggs beaten with three cupfuls of milk. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake for 40 minutes. Grilled Smoked Herring Soak overnight and in the morning, cover with hot water, and let stand for half an hour. Put into cold water for ten minutes, then wipe dry and broil. Serve with hot cornbread. Grilled Fresh Herring Dip in seasoned melted butter, then in crumbs, and broil carefully, basting with melted butter if required. Serve with Mater D hotel sauce. End of section 19「ヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴィヴ Garnish with parsley and serve with either brown or white sauce. Boiled kingfish a la Hollandaise. Scale and clean two large kingfish and boil in salted and deciduated water with a bunch of parsley, a slice each of carrot and onion, and a pinch of powdered sweet herbs. Cover with buttered paper and simmer until done. Garnish with parsley and serve with Hollandaise sauce. Fried kingfish one. Cut the fish into fillets, remove the skin, season with salt and pepper, dredge with flour, dip in beaten egg, then in breadcrumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Kingfish 2 Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Cook until firm in melted butter and lemon juice. Drain, cool, dip in batter, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Kingfish 3 Clean and fillet the fish, dip in milk, roll in flour and fry. Drain, season, garnish with lemons, and serve with tomato sauce. Broiled Kingfish Clean thoroughly, wipe dry, and slit down the back. Season with salt and pepper, and baste with oil before and during the broiling. Serve with melted butter, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Baked Kingfish Clean four kingfish, cut off the fins, and gash from head to tail on each side. 
Place on a buttered baking dish, sprinkle with chopped shallots, parsley, and mushrooms. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, and put small bits of butter in the incisions. Pour over two wine glassfuls of white wine and baste with the liquid while baking. Thicken a cupful of beef stock with butter and brown flour, and pour over the fish when nearly done. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Sprinkle with lemon juice before serving. Baked Kingfish with White Sauce Prepare the fish according to directions given in the recipe for baked kingfish, omitting the mushrooms and the seasoning. Pour over one cupful of white wine and half a cupful of white stock. Baste with the liquid while baking. Take up the fish carefully and add to the liquid remaining in the pan enough white stock to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with a tablespoon each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire. Add two tablespoons of butter and a little lemon juice. Strain over the fish and serve. Kingfish a la Meunier. M-E-U-N-I-E-R-E. -E. Prepare and season eight small kingfish, dredge with flour, brown in butter, and finish cooking in the oven. When done, pour over two tablespoons of butter, which has been cooked brown, sprinkle with lemon juice and minced parsley, and serve in the baking dish. End of section 20. Section 21 of How to Cook Fish This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 21 65 Ways to Cook Mackerel Broiled Spanish Mackerel, Recipe 1 Cut a fish down the middle, take out all the bones and cut again in halves. Dry on a cloth and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Beat two eggs, add an equal quantity of olive oil, dip the fish into this, then into bread crumbs, and broil over a clear fire. Broiled Spanish Mackerel Recipe 2 Split the mackerel down the back and broil carefully over a clear fire. Season with butter, pepper, and salt. Broiled Fresh Mackerel Recipe 1 Split two fresh mackerel, remove the backbone, season with salt and pepper, rub with olive oil, and broil. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Broiled Mackerel Recipe 2 Draw and wash the mackerel, cut off the head, rub with olive oil, and broil. Sprinkle with minced parsley, onions, and lemon juice, and serve very hot. Broiled Mackerel Recipe 3 Split a mackerel down the back, take out the backbone, sprinkle with salt, and broil on a buttered gridiron. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. A little minced parsley may be added. Broiled Mackerel with Anchovy Butter Split and broil a fresh mackerel, and serve with melted butter, seasoned with anchovy paste. Broiled mackerel au beurre noir Open the mackerel, remove the bones, sprinkle with pepper and salt, spread with butter, and broil. Cook a tablespoonful of butter until brown. Take from the fire, add the juice of half a lemon, and pour over the fish. Garnish with parsley. Broiled mackerel a la Livournaise. Broil a Spanish mackerel, seasoning with salt and pepper and basting with oil. Serve with a sauce made of eight pounded anchovies mixed with mayonnaise and seasoned with pepper, grated nutmeg and minced parsley. The sauce is served cold. Broiled mackerel with Normandy sauce. Soak cleaned mackerel in oil with chopped onion and parsley to season. Leave the roe inside. Rub the inside with lemon juice and butter. Wrap in oiled paper and broil over a slow fire for 40 minutes. Prepare a cream sauce and add to it two tablespoonfuls each of mushroom catsup and fish stock. 
or boiling water in which a little anchovy paste has been dissolved. Bring to the boil, take from the fire, add the yolks of two eggs and the juice of half a lemon. Add one tablespoonful of butter, pour over the fish, and serve. Broiled mackerel à la florette. Split a Spanish mackerel, remove the bones, and season with salt, pepper, and olive oil, basting with oil as needed. For the sauce, cook in a saucepan, without browning, four chopped shallots, two tablespoonfuls of vinegar, a teaspoonful each of chopped chives and parsley, salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season, two tablespoonfuls of melted butter, and a tablespoonful of flour. Cook until smooth, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and the juice of half a lemon, pour over the fish, and serve. Broiled Salt Mackerel, Recipe 1 Soak the fish overnight in cold water. In the morning, drain, cover with boiling water, and let stand for an hour. Rinse in cold water, wipe dry, and soak for twenty minutes in oil and vinegar or lemon juice. Broil and serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley. Broiled Salt Mackerel, Recipe 2 Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Take the fish from the hot water and cover for five minutes with cold water. Wipe dry, soak in olive oil and lemon juice for half an hour. Drain, broil, and serve with tartar sauce. Broiled Salt Mackerel, Recipe 3 Soak overnight, drain, wipe, rub with butter, and broil. Pour over it a sauce made of a tablespoonful of butter, a teaspoon of lemon juice or vinegar, a tablespoonful of hot water, a pinch of pepper, and a chopped cucumber pickle. Bring to the boil and pour over the fish. Broiled salt mackerel with cream. Soak overnight in cold water. Drain, wipe dry, rub with oil, and broil. Serve on a hot platter and pour over half a cupful of hot cream. Sprinkle with minced parsley. Broiled mackerel with tarragon sauce. Soak the cleaned fish for an hour in olive oil and broil. Serve with melted butter seasoned with pepper, salt and tarragon vinegar. Boiled mackerel, recipe 1. Boil in water or stock to cover Seasoning with onion, sweet herbs, pepper, salt, cloves, and vinegar. Strain the liquor, thicken it with butter and flour blended together, and add to it minced parsley and hard-boiled eggs, chopped fine. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Mackerel, Recipe 2 Boil in salted water until done and drain. Serve with egg sauce. Boiled Mackerel Recipe 3 Boil a fresh mackerel in salted and acidulated water. Drain and serve with a cream sauce. Boiled Mackerel Recipe 4 Clean a fresh mackerel and split it down the back. Put it in a dripping pan and pour over it two cupfuls of boiling water, two tablespoons each of vinegar and lemon juice, and a teaspoonful of salt. Add a sliced onion and boil for three quarters of an hour. Take up the fish, strain the liquid, add a teaspoonful of capers, bring to the boil and pour over the fish. Boiled mackerel with gooseberry sauce. Boil the mackerel in salted and acidulated water. Boil two cupfuls of gooseberries in water to cover until soft. Drain, rub through a sieve, and mix with an equal quantity of the fish broth, thickened with butter and flour. Add two tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Boiled mackerel à la persilade. Boil the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Beat together with an egg beater, half a cupful of olive oil, the juice of two lemons, two tablespoonfuls of minced parsley, 
one tablespoonful of mustard, and a little tarragon vinegar. Pour over the fish and serve. Fresh boiled mackerel. Clean the mackerel, sprinkle with vinegar, wrap in a floured cloth, and baste closely. Boil for three quarters of an hour in salted water. Drain and take off the cloth. Strain a cupful of the water in which the fish was boiled, and bring to the boil with a tablespoonful of walnut catsup, a teaspoonful of anchovy paste, and the juice of half a lemon. Thicken with butter and browned flour. Boiled mackerel a la bolognaise. Clean four fresh mackerel. Remove the heads and tails and cut in halves crosswise. Put into a saucepan with sliced onions, a bunch of parsley, salt and pepper, a little white wine, and enough boiling water to cover. Cover with buttered paper and simmer for fifteen minutes. Take out the fish, strain the broth, and thicken a pint of it with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter, a teaspoonful of chopped parsley, and a little tarragon vinegar. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled salt mackerel, recipe one. Soak the fish in cold water overnight, and in the morning rinse thoroughly. Wrap in a cloth and put to boil in cold water. Bring slowly to the boiling point and cook for thirty minutes. Unwrap carefully, take out the backbones, and pour over a little melted butter and cream, seasoning with pepper. Or serve with a sauce made of a cupful of milk thickened with a teaspoonful of cornstarch, and season with butter, pepper, salt, and minced parsley. Take from the fire. Add one egg well beaten and pour over the fish. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Boiled salt mackerel recipe two. Soak overnight in cold water and in the morning rinse thoroughly. Boil, drain, and pour over a cupful of hot cream in which a tablespoonful of butter has been melted. Boiled salt mackerel recipe three. Wash thoroughly. Cover with cold water to which a chopped onion and a little black pepper have been added, and boil until the flesh loosens from the bone. Drain and serve with melted butter and minced parsley. Boiled salt mackerel recipe four. Soak the fish overnight in cold water, and in the morning cover with hot water for half an hour. Drain and boil in acidulated water, or in milk until done. Serve with a cream sauce to which chopped hard-boiled eggs have been added, or with tomato sauce. Boiled salt mackerel recipe five. Soak the fish overnight in cold water, drain, and simmer for fifteen minutes in water to cover, adding a teaspoonful of vinegar, a bay leaf, a slice of onion, and a sprig of parsley. When tender, place on a hot platter. And pour over it a cream sauce. Boiled salt mackerel recipe six. Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe, and simmer for twenty minutes in acidulated water. Drain and pour over it a cream sauce. Boiled salt mackerel recipe seven. Prepare according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Pour over a sauce made of stewed and strained tomatoes, thickened with butter and browned flour, and seasoned with pepper, salt, sugar, and grated onion. Baked mackerel recipe one. Clean the mackerel, split down the back, and cut each fish in four pieces. Put in a baking dish in layers, seasoning each layer with bay leaves, cloves. Peppercorns and sliced onions or shallots. Cover with one cupful of stock, three tablespoons each of white wine and vinegar, one tablespoon each of anchovy sauce and mushroom catsup, and a teaspoonful of Worcestershire. Bake in a moderate oven. Take out the fish carefully, strain the sauce over them, and let cool. Baked mackerel recipe two. Split a fresh mackerel. Take out the backbone, 
Dry thoroughly and sprinkle the inside with salt and pepper. Drain the liquor from a quart of oysters and put aside a dozen of the large ones. Chop the remaining oysters coarsely. Fry two chopped onions in butter. Add the chopped oysters with three chopped hard boiled eggs and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Season with salt and pepper and cool. Mix with the yolks of two raw eggs and a tablespoonful of butter. Stuff the fish and sew up. Put into a baking pan. Cover with buttered paper and bake for twenty minutes, basting as required. Add the oysters and bake for five minutes longer. Serve the fish on a warm platter with lemon juice squeezed over it, and place the oysters around it on thin circles of toast spread with anchovy paste. Garnish with parsley and lemon and serve very hot. Baked Mackerel, Recipe 3 Gash two cleaned fresh mackerel and put in a buttered baking dish with two tablespoonfuls of white wine, three tablespoonfuls of mushroom liquor, a chopped shallot and salt and pepper to season. Cover with buttered paper and bake for fifteen minutes in a moderate oven. Take up the fish and add to the gravy a little chopped onion, mushrooms, shallot, parsley and garlic fried together and enough white stock to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire and add the yolks of three eggs well beaten. Add the juice of half a lemon and a tablespoonful of butter and pour over the fish. Baked Mackerel Recipe 4 Soak a fresh cleaned fish for half an hour in olive oil and lemon juice. Lay in a baking pan upon thin slices of fat salt pork. Sprinkle with salt and pepper and bake for 25 minutes. Serve with tomato sauce. Baked Fillet of Mackerel, Recipe 1 Remove the head and backbone from a large fresh mackerel and place the roe on top. Chop fine six shallots or three small onions half a pound of mushrooms, and three or four sprigs of parsley. Add a teaspoonful of salt and a pinch of pepper. Put half of this mixture in a buttered baking pan. Lay the fish upon it and pour over six tablespoonfuls of white wine. Spread the remaining seasoning on top. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, cover with buttered paper, and bake for thirty minutes. Pour over a little melted butter, garnish with lemon and parsley, and serve in the dish in which it is baked. Baked Fillets of Mackerel, Recipe 2 Butter an oval baking dish and spread chopped oysters on the bottom. Arrange upon it the fillets of four fresh mackerel, skinned and seasoned with salt and pepper. Sprinkle with chopped onion, parsley and mushrooms, Cover with one cupful of beef stock, thickened with browned flour. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake for half an hour. Sprinkle with lemon juice and serve in the same dish. Baked Fillets of Mackerel, Recipe 3 Clean and fillet the fish. Put in a buttered baking dish. Season with salt, pepper, and minced parsley. Squeeze lemon juice over. Pour on a little melted butter. Cover with buttered paper and bake. Drain and serve with maitre d'hôtel sauce. Baked fillets of mackerel with cream. Cook the prepared fillets in melted butter and drain. Thicken two cupfuls of white stock with butter and flour cooked together. Add a wine glassful of white wine. Take from the fire and add the yolks of two eggs well beaten. Cover the fillets with the sauce. Sprinkle with crumbs and grated cheese. Dot with butter and bake brown. Sprinkle with lemon juice and serve in the same dish. Mackerel baked in cream. Skin and bone a large fish. Cut it into four pieces. 
season it, and fry in butter. Drain it and keep warm. Mix a cupful of white stock with two tablespoonfuls of sherry and the yolk of an egg. Cook until it thickens, and pour over the fish, seasoning with minced parsley and onion. Sprinkle with crumbs and bake until brown. Baked fresh mackerel with fine herbs. Split and clean the fish, remove the head and tail, put into a buttered dripping pan, sprinkle with salt and pepper, dot with butter, and pour over two thirds of a cupful of milk. Bake for twenty five minutes in a hot oven. Baked Spanish mackerel with fine herbs. Butter a baking dish. Sprinkle with chopped shallots, parsley, and mushrooms. Lay a cleaned mackerel upon it. Sprinkle with more chopped shallots, parsley, and mushrooms. Season with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, and dots of butter. Add two wine glassfuls of white wine and a cupful of white stock. Cover with a buttered paper and boil, basting frequently. Thicken the sauce with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter. Pour over the fish, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake brown. Squeeze lemon juice over the top and serve in the same dish. Baked mackerel with oyster stuffing. Make a stuffing of a dozen chopped oysters, a cupful of bread crumbs, the chopped yolks of two hard boiled eggs, a tablespoonful of butter, and onion juice, minced parsley, salt, and pepper to season. Bind with the yolk of a raw egg, and fill a cleaned fresh mackerel with the stuffing. Put the fish on a buttered baking dish, dredge with flour, and pour around it a cupful each of boiling water and stock. Bake until done, basting often with melted butter and the drippings. When done, slide on to a hot platter and add to the remaining liquid sufficient warm water to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with browned flour, seasoned with tomato catsup and Worcestershire. Pour over the fish and serve. Baked Salt Mackerel Soak overnight in cold water. In the morning, drain, cover with boiling water, and let stand for five minutes. Drain and put into a baking pan. Rub with butter, season with pepper, and pour over half a cupful of cream or milk. Bake until brown. Baked Salt Mackerel with Cream Sauce Soak a salt mackerel overnight. In the morning, drain, rinse, and put into a baking pan with a pint of milk. Bake for twenty minutes. Take up the fish and thicken the milk with a tablespoon each of butter and flour cooked together. Season with salt and pepper, pour over the fish, and serve. Fried Mackerel Fry three slices of salt pork and add to the fat a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce. Fry in this fresh mackerel, dredged with flour. Season with melted butter. The mackerel may be dipped in beaten egg before it is dipped in flour. Fried salt mackerel. Soak all day in cold water, changing the water every two hours. In the morning, drain, wipe dry, roll in flour, and fry in melted butter. Serve with melted butter and parsley. Mackerel a la Havres. Clean the fish, take out the backbone, and put into a baking pan. To each mackerel add four tablespoonfuls of butter, two tablespoonfuls of chopped shallots, and salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season. Add two cupfuls of white wine, cover, and cook slowly for thirty minutes. Take up the fish, Thicken the sauce with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together, and boil for five minutes. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of three eggs beaten with a cupful of cream, season with lemon juice and minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Spanish Mackerel a la Castilene Open a Spanish mackerel. Take out most of the backbone. 
season with salt and pepper, and stuff with seasoned crumbs. Put into a buttered baking dish with two sliced onions, a bunch of parsley, half a cup of sherry, and two cupfuls of white stock. Cover with a buttered paper, and cook for half an hour in the oven, basting as needed. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, and thicken with butter and flour cooked together. Season with lemon juice and anchovy paste. Add a tablespoonful of butter, pour over the fish, and serve. Spanish mackerel a l'espagnol. Put a cleaned Spanish mackerel in a buttered pan with one cupful each of wine and white stock. Season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Add a bunch of parsley and a clove of garlic. Cover with buttered paper and simmer for forty minutes. Take up the fish. Thicken the sauce with browned flour. Season with lemon juice and melted butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Spanish mackerel a la Nassau. Clean and gash a large mackerel. Put in a buttered dish with salt, pepper, half a dozen peeled and sliced tomatoes, two wine glassfuls of white wine, and half a cupful of water. Add two sliced and parboiled onions, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and half a cupful of mushrooms. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter. Cover with buttered paper and bake for half an hour, basting as needed. Take out the fish and add enough stock to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Pour over the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake brown. Squeeze lemon juice over and serve. Spanish mackerel a la Venetienne. Put the cleaned mackerel into a baking pan with salt, pepper, grated onion, grated nutmeg, minced parsley, a tablespoonful of butter, and half a cupful each of white wine and white stock. Cover with a buttered paper and cook for forty minutes, basting as needed. Take out the fish and add two cupfuls of white stock to the sauce. Bring to the boil, take from the fire, thicken with the yolks of four eggs, and add two tablespoonfuls of butter, two tablespoonfuls of minced parsley, and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Mackerel a la Tyrol Wash and dry two fresh fish, and put into a saucepan with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, chopped parsley and onion, and two tablespoonfuls of cider. Cover and cook for half an hour. Then add one cupful of white stock, thickened with flour and butter, the yolk of an egg, and a tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar. Strain the sauce over the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Serve in the same dish. Fillets of mackerel a la Orly Clean and fillet the fish, remove the skin and bones, and soak for an hour in oil and lemon juice, seasoned with chopped onion, parsley, salt, pepper, and sweet herbs. Drain, dredge with flour, dip in beaten eggs, roll in crumbs, fry in deep fat, and serve with tomato sauce. Fillets of mackerel a l'Andienne Fillet two large fresh mackerel. Cut in two and remove the skin. Simmer for fifteen minutes with two tablespoonfuls each of melted butter and curry powder mixed with two wine glassfuls of white wine. Season with salt and pepper. Prepare a cream sauce and add to it two tablespoons of butter and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve with a border of plain boiled rice. Mackerel a la Breton. Wash and split a large mackerel, wipe dry, dredge with flour, and fry brown in butter. Sprinkle with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Salt mackerel a la Breton. Soak the fish for twelve hours, and prepare according to directions given above. Serve with melted butter. Scotch mackerel pie. 
Make a force meat of the roe and some parsley, onion, butter, bread crumbs, thyme, sweet marjoram, and the yolk of an egg. Cut the fish into strips, spread with the filling, and roll. Arrange in a deep dish, pour in half a cupful of stock, and cover with a layer of mashed potatoes. Bake for three quarters of an hour and serve. Toasted Salt Mackerel Soak overnight in cold water and hang up for a day or two until perfectly dry. Put in a dry tin and set into the oven for ten minutes. Mackerel en papillote Oil a sheet of paper a little larger than the fish. Lay a slice of cooked ham on each piece of paper and spread with chopped onion, carrot, parsley and green pepper fried together in butter. Lay a mackerel on the ham, spread with the fried vegetables, cover with another slice of ham, and fold the paper over, twisting the ends. Bake for fifteen minutes in a moderate oven. Serve in the paper. Potted mackerel. Pound together an ounce of black pepper and six blades of mace. Mix with two ounces of salt and half an ounce of grated nutmeg. Rub thoroughly into pieces of fresh mackerel and fry in oil. Drain and put the fish in a stone jar. Fill with vinegar and put two tablespoons of oil on top. Cover closely and let stand for two days before using. Fillets of mackerel with ravigot sauce. Cook the fillets of four fish in a buttered dish with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg and half a cupful of white wine. For the sauce, chop fine four shallots and put into a saucepan with two tablespoonfuls of butter and four tablespoonfuls of tarragon vinegar. Reduce half by boiling and add a pint of white stock thickened with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter, pour over the fish and serve. Mackerel with white wine sauce. Cook three fresh mackerel in a cupful of white wine with butter, salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, minced onion and parsley to season. Take out the fish and add two cupfuls of white stock to the gravy. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire and add the yolks of three eggs well beaten. Pour the sauce over the fish, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and bake brown. Sprinkle with lemon juice and serve in a baking dish. Spanish Mackerel Salad Drain the oil from a can of pickled Spanish mackerel and cut the fish in slices. Boil a bunch of red beets for half an hour in water to cover, then drain and bake for half an hour in a hot oven. Peel, slice thin, and cool thoroughly. Mix with the mackerel, and add a bunch of radishes, sliced thin, and half a dozen sliced pickles. Surround with lettuce leaves, and pour over a French dressing. Stuffed mackerel with anchovy sauce. Stuff the prepared fish with seasoned crumbs, mixed with chopped shallots, parsley and mushrooms. Sew up and bake, basting with oil. Serve with cream sauce, seasoned with anchovy essence. German pickled mackerel. Skin, bone, and cut into pieces four pounds of fresh mackerel, and put it in layers into a stone jar, sprinkling each layer with pepper, salt, bay leaves, and sweet herbs. Cover with vinegar, seal firmly, and bake for six hours in a moderate oven. End of section 21「How to Cook Fish」by Olive Green Section 22 Five Ways to Cook Mullet Read for LibriVox.org by Laurie Ann Walden Broiled Mullet Soak the cleaned fish for an hour in salted and acidulated water. 
drain, wipe dry, split, rub with seasoned butter, and broil. Broiled Mullets with Melted Butter Rub prepared mullets with seasoned flour and broil, basting with olive oil as required. Serve with melted butter and minced parsley. Mullet a la maitre d'hôtel Clean four mullets and soak in olive oil to cover for 30 minutes with a bunch of parsley, a sliced onion, and salt and pepper to season. Drain, broil, and serve with maitre d'hôtel sauce. Baked Mullet Clean the fish and soak for an hour in salted and acidulated water. Drain, wipe dry, stuff with seasoned crumbs, sew up, rub with butter and put into a baking pan, adding enough hot water to keep from burning. Baste as required and serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Mullet Cut the cleaned fish in convenient pieces for serving and saute in pork fat or dip in egg and seasoned crumbs and fry in deep fat. End of section 22. This recording is in the public domain. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit librivox.org. Recording by Al Hunt, Alberta, Canada. January 2007 How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 23 15 Ways to Cook Perch Fried Perch 1. Clean the fish, dip in flour, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs, and fry in plenty of fat. Drain and garnish with lemon and parsley. Fried Perch 2. Dip the clean perch in flour and fry brown in salt pork fat. Fried Perch 3. Prepare and clean the fish, season with salt and pepper, dip in egg and cornmeal, and fry in deep fat. Broiled Perch. Rub the prepared fish with butter, season with salt and pepper, and broil. Garnish with fried parsley and lemon. Boiled Perch. Boil the cleaned fish with parsley, a tablespoonful of butter, and salt and pepper to season. Drain, strain the liquid, Thicken with butter and flour, season to taste, pour over the fish and serve. Boiled perch with oyster sauce. Prepare and clean the fish and simmer until done in salted and acidulated water. Drain and serve with oyster sauce. Perch a la Lamande. Put two large clean perch into a saucepan with two chopped carrots, a sprig of parsley, a celery root, a sliced onion, and a pinch of salt. Cover with white wine and simmer for 20 minutes. Drain and keep warm. Take out the onion, parsley, and celery root. Add half a cupful of chopped mushrooms and cook for 5 minutes. Cook with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour thickened together. Take from the fire, add a tablespoonful of butter and the juice of 2 lemons, pour over the fish, and serve. Stewed perch a la batillière. Put four pounds of clean perch into a saucepan with salt and pepper to season, two sliced onions, a bunch of parsley, and claret and water in equal parts to cover. Simmer for half an hour, drain, remove the parsley, and thicken the sauce with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Add a tablespoonful of anchovy essence, the juice of half a lemon, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Perch a la Francaise. Boil the perch in white wine and when cooked, skin and arrange on a serving dish. Pour over a cream sauce to which has been added chopped cooked carrots and mushrooms and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Add also to the sauce a tablespoonful of butter and grated nutmeg and lemon juice to season. Perch a la Maitre de Hotel. Prepare according to directions given for Mallet a la maitre de hotel. Perch a la Normandy. Prepare and clean the fish and put into a stew pan with a chopped onion, a bunch of parsley, a pinch of salt, and enough white wine to cover. Simmer for 15 minutes. Take up the fish and strain the liquid. Add one cupful of oyster liquor and boil the liquid until reduced half. 
take from the fire, add one tablespoonful of butter and two of flour, cook together, stir until smooth, return to the fire, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add slowly the yolks of three eggs well beaten. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Perch a la Sicily Cook three or four large perch for twenty minutes with a bunch of parsley in salted and acidulated water. Put into a saucepan one tablespoonful of malt vinegar, one tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, a small chopped onion, a bay leaf, and four peppercorns. Boil for ten minutes, strain and cool. Cook together four tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. When brown, add a pint of beef stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add the strained vinegar, the beaten yolks of six eggs, and two tablespoonfuls of grated horseradish. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Perch a la Stanley. Clean four large perch, put into a saucepan with a tablespoonful of butter and a small bunch of parsley, a pint of Rhine wine, a pint of white stock, and salt and pepper to season. Simmer slowly until done, drain and keep warm. Thicken the sauce with two tablespoons each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire, add the yolks of four eggs beaten with the juice of a lemon and three tablespoonfuls of butter. Bring to the boil, add a dozen parboiled oysters, pour over the fish and serve. Baked Perch Prepare and clean the fish. Stuff with seasoned crumbs and stew up. Bake with a little white wine and melted butter. Perch Salad Clean and boil the fish, drain and cool. Serve very cold on lettuce with mayonnaise. End of section 23section 24 of how to cook fish this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer visit librivox.org how to cook fish by olive green section 24 10 ways to cook pickerel boiled pickerel a la maitre d'hotel Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Dip in seasoned oil, broil and serve with maitre d'hotel sauce. Fried Pickerel 1. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Dip in beaten egg and cracker dust and fry in deep fat. Fried Pickerel 2. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into steaks. Dip in cornmeal and fry in hot fat. Add one cupful of cream to the fat remaining in the pan and thicken with one tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Season with salt and pepper. Add a tablespoonful of minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Fried pickerel with tomato sauce. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces of a suitable size for serving. Dip in milk, roll in flour, and fry brown in plenty of hot lard. Drain and serve with tomato sauce. Fried Pickerel a la Creme Clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Roll in flour and fry diced salt pork crisp. Strain the fat. Fry the fish in it, take up and keep warm. Add a tablespoonful of butter and a tablespoonful of flour to the fat remaining in the pan. When cooked, add enough cream to make the required quantity of sauce and a pinch of soda. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add the salt pork fat and pour over the fish. Baked Pickerel one. Lay the cleaned fish in a baking pan, spread with butter, season with salt and pepper, and sprinkle with flour. Bake as usual, basting with a cupful of hot water, to which has been added a tablespoonful of butter, and the juice of half a lemon. 
Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Pickerel two. Clean the fish, remove the backbone, and soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice. Cover the bottom of a baking dish with thin slices of salt pork. Lay the fish upon the pork, rub the fish with butter, cover and bake for forty minutes. Serve with hollandaise or tartar sauce. Baked pickerel with oyster sauce. Lay the fish in a buttered baking pan. Spread with butter, season with salt and pepper, and dredge with flour. Bake in a hot oven, basting with a cupful of hot water to which a teaspoonful of butter and the juice of a lemon have been added. Serve with oyster sauce. Baked pickerel with egg sauce. Put the prepared fish in a buttered baking pan and bake slowly, basting with melted butter and hot water. Serve with egg sauce. Stuffed pickerel. Prepare, clean, and split the fish. Remove the backbone and stuff with crumbs. Season with salt, pepper, sweet herbs, and melted butter. Mix with a beaten egg. Stuff the fish. Sew up and bake, basting with melted butter as required. Pickerel a la Babette. Butter a kettle and cover the bottom with sliced celery and onion. Lay the prepared and cleaned fish upon it. Add a bunch of parsley and a tablespoonful of butter. Season with salt and white pepper. Add a dozen peppercorns, a sliced lemon, a dozen pounded almonds, and cold water to cover. Simmer slowly until done. Take up the fish, beat the yolks of three eggs with a tablespoonful of cold water, take out the parsley, thicken the sauce, pour over the fish, sprinkle with parsley, and serve. End of section twenty four. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, for LibriVox, spring two thousand and seven. Section 25 of How to Cook Fish. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 25 20 Ways to Cook Pike. Fried Pike 1. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Fry brown in butter. Add to the butter a teaspoonful of anchovy essence, a bit of ginger root, a grating of nutmeg, salt and pepper to season, and add enough claret to cover. Simmer until tender. Add the juice of an orange and a teaspoonful of butter. Serve with sauce poured over the fish. Fried Pike 2 Clean the fish and cut it into pieces suitable for serving. Dip in egg and crumbs and fry in oil. Fried Pike a la Hollandaise Clean the fish and cut it into steaks. Soak for two hours in a marinade of oil and lemon juice, seasoning with pepper salt, minced parsley, and grated nutmeg. Drain, dip in flour, fry in lard, and serve with hollandaise sauce. Boiled Pike with Melted Butter Boil the fish with a bunch of parsley and salted and acidulated water to cover. Serve with melted butter, seasoned with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, and lemon juice. Boiled Pike with Caper Sauce Prepare and clean a fish, put into a fish kettle, and simmer for 40 minutes in court bouillon to cover. Serve with Caper Sauce.
BOILED PIKE WITH HORSE-RADISH SAUCE. Boil a large fish in salted and acidulated water with a bunch of parsley. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour, add three cupfuls of cream, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt and pepper, add two tablespoonfuls of butter, and three tablespoonfuls of freshly grated horseradish. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Pike with Egg Sauce Put the cleaned fish into a fish kettle and cover with cold water. Add half a cupful of vinegar, a teaspoonful each of cloves and peppercorns, a bay leaf, half a lemon sliced, and a tablespoonful of salt. Boil until the fins pull off easily. Take up and skin the fish carefully. Pour over an egg sauce, made with a portion of the liquid in which the fish was cooked. Boiled Pike a la Dubois Prepare and clean the fish and cook it in equal parts of white wine and water, adding minced carrots and celery, sweet herbs and parsley, half a dozen peppercorns, and salt to season. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add two cupfuls of the liquid, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Baked Pike 1 Clean a four-pound pike and put into a buttered baking pan with enough hot water to keep from burning. Score the upper side deeply. Cover with chopped salt pork, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and dredge with flour. Bake for half an hour, basting as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Pike 2 Put the cleaned fish into a buttered baking dish with two onions sliced, two bay leaves, pepper and salt to season, and one cupful of sour cream. Rub the fish with butter, sprinkle thickly with bread crumbs and grated Parmesan cheese, and bake until brown. Pour the liquid remaining in the pan around the fish and serve. Baked Pike a la Francaise Marinate the prepared fish for two hours in oil and lemon juice, seasoning with salt, pepper, chopped onion, and minced parsley. Put into the oven in the marinade, adding one cupful of stock and a wine glassful of white wine. Bake slowly, basting as required. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, Thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Season with anchovy essence. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter and two tablespoonfuls of caper. Pour over the fish and serve. Stuffed and Baked Pike Clean and draw the fish. Stuff with seasoned crumbs. Sew up and put into a buttered baking dish in the form of a circle. Score the fish deeply. Sprinkle with pepper and salt, minced parsley, chopped onion, and chopped mushrooms. Add a cupful of sherry and a cupful of beef stock. Cover and bake, basting frequently with the liquid. Take up the fish carefully and add to the liquid enough stock to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls of flour Cooked brown in butter, add two tablespoonfuls of butter, lemon juice and red pepper, and anchovy essence to season. Pour over the fish and serve. Pike Baked in Sour Cream Clean a four-pound pike, cut into steaks, and free from skin and bone. Put into a buttered baking dish with two small onions, chopped and two bay leaves. Season with salt and cayenne, 
add one cupful of sour cream, and bake. Put on a serving dish, cover with crumbs and dots of butter, and brown in the oven. Add enough stock to the liquid to make the required quantity of sauce, thicken with butter and flour, season, add a dash of lemon juice, pour around the fish, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Pike Salad Flake cold cooked pike with a silver fork. Mix with mayonnaise and chopped capers, and serve very cold on lettuce leaves. Roasted Pike Prepare a large fish, stuff with seasoned crumbs, and sew up. Spread with butter, sprinkle with chopped onion, minced parsley, minced pickle, and pounded anchovies. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Put in a buttered baking dish, and bake slowly for an hour, basting with melted butter as required. Add half a cupful of white wine and one cupful of white stock to the drippings. Thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour, cooked together. Take from the fire, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and the yolks of three eggs, beaten with the juice of a lemon. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Pike a l'allemande Prepare according to directions given for carp a l'allemande. Crimp piked a la hollandaise Prepare and clean the fish and cut into steaks. Soak in ice water for two hours. Boil until tender in salted and acidulated water to cover, and serve with hollandaise sauce. Pike a la Francaise Cut a cleaned and prepared pike into thick steaks, and marinate for two hours in oil and lemon juice, seasoned with salt, pepper, minced onion, and parsley and a pinch of sweet herbs. Drain, dip in crumbs, and broil. Serve with any preferred sauce. Pike a la Normandie Clean and draw a large fish, and tie in a circle. Put into a fish kettle with sliced onion, a bay leaf, a pinch of thyme, a sprig of parsley, and salt and pepper to season. Add two cupfuls each of white wine and white stock, and enough water to cover. Add a tablespoonful of butter, cover and simmer for forty minutes. Take the fish, strain the sauce, and thicken with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire, add the yolks of four eggs beaten with the juice of a lemon, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Strain over the fish, and serve. Pickled Pike Draw and clean a pike, put into a fish kettle, cover with claret, add three bay leaves, and simmer until tender. Let cool in the liquor. Serve with French dressing, mayonnaise, or tartar sauce. End of section 25. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox. Spring 2007. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Robin Cotter, Toronto, Ontario, March 2007. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 26 
Ten Ways to Cook Pompano Broiled Pompano 1. Clean and split the fish, sprinkle with salt and pepper, rub with butter, and broil. Squeeze lemon juice over it, and serve. Broiled Pompano 2. Split the fish, remove the backbone, season with salt and pepper, and put on a tin sheet. Rub with butter, and broil under the gas flame. Broiled Pompano 3. Clean and split the fish, rub with oil, sprinkle with salt and pepper, roll in crumbs, and broil. Broiled Pompano a la maitre d'hôtel. Clean and split the fish, rub with salt, pepper, and olive oil, and broil. Serve with maitre d'hôtel sauce. Fried Pompano 1. Cut the cleaned fish into slices, dredge with flour, and fry brown in butter. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Pompano 2. Cut the cleaned fish into strips, season with salt, pepper, and nutmeg, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in fat to cover. Fillets of Pompano Cut a prepared and cleaned pompano into strips. Marinate for an hour in oil and vinegar, seasoned with salt and pepper. Drain, dip in crumbs, then in egg, then in crumbs, and put in a buttered paper, and bake until done. Serve with tomato sauce. Fillets of Pompano a la Duchess Cut a cleaned pompano into strips, sprinkle with salt, pepper, and onion juice, and put into a small baking pan. Steam until done. Take up carefully and spread each one with seasoned mashed potato mixed with well-beaten egg. Bake in the oven until puffed and brown, and serve immediately. Fillets of Pompano au Gratin Split the fish in two lengthwise, and remove the bone and skin. Cut into strips. Season with salt, pepper, and butter. Roll up and tie or fasten with toothpicks or skewers. Simmer slowly until done in equal parts of white wine and water, adding a little maitre d'hôtel sauce. Pompano a la Cardinal Butter a baking dish and lay upon it a large, cleaned, and split pompano. Open a can of sweet Spanish peppers, drain, and cover the fish with them. Sprinkle with chopped onion, minced parsley, chopped mushrooms, crumbs, and dots of butter. Add one cupful of stock and a wine glassful of port wine. Bake for twenty minutes, basting as required. Take up carefully, and served with fried sweet potatoes. End of chapter 26 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Matthew Walton How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 27 13 Ways to Cook Red Snapper Fried Red Snapper Clean the fish, skin, and remove the backbone. Slice lengthwise in long thin strips. Roll up and fasten with a toothpick or skewer. Dip in egg, then in cracker dust, and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Boiled Red Snapper 1 Clean and draw the fish and boil slowly in salted and acidulated water to cover. Drain and serve with any preferred sauce. Boiled Red Snapper 2 Clean a red snapper, sew it up in mosquito netting, and boil it in salted and acidulated water. Drain carefully, unwrap, and serve with tomato sauce. Baked Red Snapper 1 Prepare and clean the fish. Stuff with seasoned crumbs and chopped oysters. Put on a buttered tin sheet and lay into a baking pan. Sprinkle with salt, pepper and flour and bake for an hour, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Red Snapper 2 Clean and season the fish, rub with vinegar and put into a baking pan. 
Dot with butter, sprinkle with parsley, and bake, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Serve with tomato sauce. Baked red snapper, three. Clean the fish, leaving the head on, and stuff with seasoned crumbs. Cover with sliced tomatoes and sliced lemon, and bake, basting occasionally with melted butter and hot water. Baked red snapper with tomato sauce. Season four pounds of prepared and cleaned red snapper with salt and pepper. Cover with thin slices of bacon, dredge with flour, and put into a buttered baking pan with two cupfuls of boiling water. Bake slowly. While it is baking, fry brown two slices of chopped bacon. Add a chopped onion, a pepper pod, a can of tomatoes, and salt and black pepper to taste. Cook until it thickens. Pour over the fish and finish baking. Take up carefully. Baked red snapper a la creole. Clean, split, and bone a large red snapper. Lay it together again. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. And put into a buttered baking pan. Fry in butter a chopped onion, half a dozen sliced mushrooms, two fresh tomatoes, and one green pepper chopped. Add a cupful of stock. Spread over the fish and bake for twenty minutes, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Take up carefully. Sprinkle with minced parsley and serve. Stuffed red snapper. Make a stuffing of one cupful of chopped oysters, half a cupful of cracker crumbs, one egg well beaten, a teaspoonful of chopped onion, a tablespoonful of butter, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and salt, pepper, and paprika to season. Add cream or oyster liquor to make soft. Fill the fish and sew up. Put a layer of salt pork, sliced tomato, and sliced onion into a baking pan. Lay the fish upon it. Cover with chopped salt pork. Sprinkle with salt, pepper, and flour. Add two cupfuls of stock and bake for an hour, basting as required. Take up the fish carefully. Rub the tomatoes and liquid through a puree sieve. Thicken with butter and flour cooked together. Pour around the fish and serve. Stuffed red snapper a la creole. Cook together a can of tomatoes, six chopped onions, a cupful of dry breadcrumbs, a tablespoonful of Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoonfuls of butter, and salt, red, and black pepper to season. Stuff the prepared and cleaned red snapper with the mixture. Sew up, spread with the remaining dressing, dot with butter, and bake for an hour. Take up carefully. Steamed red snapper. Lay a cleaned red snapper in a steamer on a bed of sliced tomatoes and chopped onion. Steam slowly for an hour or more, turning once. Serve with oyster or tartar sauce. Red snapper a la babette. Clean the fish and rub with salt and pepper inside and out. Boil in salted water to which has been added a small bunch of parsley, a celery root, two sliced onions. A chopped carrot and a blade of mace. When done, take up, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Strain the liquid, thicken with butter and flour cooked together. Pour around the fish and serve. Red snapper a la Beaufort. Put the prepared and cleaned fish into a fish kettle with a pint each of white wine, white stock, and water, adding salt and sweet herbs to season, and half a cupful of mixed vegetables cut fine. Simmer for an hour.